Alrighty. After a, a, a gruesome, painful, slow, but rewarding uh, run through last night, we are ready for uh, some more ex pirates. I'll probably get to play a few hours of this, but I don't want to make it too late because last night it definitely became too late. And first up is a small crash site, um, which is fantastic, uh, besides the fact that I think a lot of our hands are damaged, if not pretty worn out. Training, by the way, uh, can definitely use a kick in the butt. Let's go. But yeah, trainings are progressing quite nicely. Very happy about that. And... Well, let's see where today will take us. Uh, one of the things I definitely need to uh, queue up, and we have a lot of things queued up, I gotta admit. We don't need the blunderbusses. I can actually cancel creating the blunderbusses. We got a whole bunch of them, which is fantastic. Um, but no, one of the things we're gonna have to queue up is the ninja cargo boxes, because uh, we got our hands on a few of them. 33 to be precise, yeah, that's pretty good. Also, I think it's about time that we uh, slave gladiatrix. We get some ninja gals slaved. I think that's pretty, uh, gonna be pretty good, so um, let's queue that up too. And last but not least, let's get some bounty tokens. Uh, spy on ninjas. We have two young Ubers. Hmm. Huh. What does this give again? Ninja scrolls? Which might be interesting to get. Uh, it gives also spy hunters and there's a tiny chance we get an additional spy uber. Or worst case scenario, we actually end up losing the uh, young uber altogether, which I don't like. We also could use a spy forge book. Not sure what that does, but I'm sure it's going to be pretty handy to have. So why don't we queue these up and see where that takes us. How long would it take? Nine whole days. Alright, well that's going to take a while. I think I'm only gonna make one chill, a chain mill in the end. Uh, we'll see. I'm probably gonna need more of them later down the line, but that's fine. And uh, this frees up some additional people for me to assign to these uh, little tasks. But yeah, we're quite busy. We're quite, kinda quite very busy. Uh, we did a great job getting some additional slaves as well, which uh, helps with my storage area. Um, I'm not sure what else to add to it. I think there's a bunch of captive researches that I'd like to get done. Um, church captive is being one of them, and the female church captive. Both of them should roughly last about literally one day. Wow, okay. And then we also have back to school, which we need to, get, need to finish soon enough. So the general plan for us is to, uh, I guess, recover and regroup. We got beaten up pretty badly. I'm actually very surprised uh, with the outcome of the base assault yesterday. Uh, what else to add to it? I, I don't think there is anything else to add to it. Obviously we're on our way to uh, glory now, right? It's not, uh, it's not the silence before the storm. My storm, my death. Uh, that being said, I um, don't know what to do with this 2x2 two two square. I would like to get a larger prison. And I gotta figure out what I wanna do with these areas down here. I would like to run a convoy, but the convoy can also get attacked. Does that also apply for expedition? I think it also applies for the expedition. <sighs> oh boy. Man. That's a lot of yawning. Uh, I think roughly about uh, that about sums it up. Yeah, convoy will be nice, but we have not even close to the uh, required cash requirement to do so. Also, getting a second car might be quite fantastic as well. Um, I'm not sure if I want a car with uh, two cars with two recoilless rifles or maybe one with a machine gun. The car has proven to be quite, quite useful, quite handy, and quite a nice tank. But it, it remains fragile. That's something to keep in mind. It remains fragile, and whoever drives it will instantly die if it gets hit. And blown up and we have had people shoot uh, you old tank busters and the likes at us um okay well i don't think i have anything else to add to it other than let's kick some ass 
And... Don't die. Can't you dismantle it and put another gun on it? Yes, we can most definitely dismantle it and put another gun on it. But, um... I think... The car driving around with the coilless rifle is amazing. Uh, it, it allows me to do so many cool things. That I'd rather have two cars. But it might actually be straining on the uh, crew availability as well. But I can really imagine that if we were to do another base assault. Or maybe even an um, airfield assault. Two cars would be a lot more beneficial than one car. Limited firepower. I think you have either one accurate shot or two snapshots. So, doubling that quantity of fire would be fantastic. Right, we have a simple small mission. Uh, let's not make too big of a deal out of it. We send in a bunch of people. Uh, let's make sure that this is not the barbarian outfit, but actually chainmail. And then we're gonna go and kick their asses. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like a great plan. Can you get slave soldiers? Um, we cannot get slave soldiers. Or wait, can we get slave soldiers? Yeah, we can get slave soldiers. Perfect. I, I was confused. I thought slave soldiers were disabled, but I'm confusing it with something else. It would be nice to actually get them some actual armor, but... Powered by rage. That's cool. Set the road on fire. <laughs> Alright, well. Maybe we gotta double down on some slave soldier related stuff. Um, I know that we would need at least decent armor for slave soldiers because it looks like they can only wear tech vests, which I guess to an extent is kind of decent. They can also wear pirate outfits. But I think it would be best to give them um, actual protection. No idea what the loader is. But yeah, all of this requires a lot of uh, stuff. I think the best way to move forward is either through Soldier SS, Super Slave, which requires a Super Slave costume. Don't even. I'm not even going to question that. Or we have a Pyramid SS armor. Smash harem color and pimpcraft. Born photo session. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Let's see where this is going. Um, befriending the slime. Ooh, slime infestation. Uh, we don't have a slime infestation yet. All right. All right. Um, yeah. We can recruit a few slave soldiers. That's definitely a possibility. Let's uh, queue four of them up. Well, actually, let's queue two of them up. Let's start uh, nice and slow. It will be nice to actually have a few additional slave soldiers available because it goes a bit easier on our um, resource train. Can't believe the dog has survived. Can't believe it. All right, off we go. Alright, it's a small craft. I'm not sure what it was. I think it's a civilian craft, so I kind of feel confident about doing this. Mean look, Milia, you did a fantastic job. I am not gonna complain. She kicked ass last time around. It was unbelievable. Alright, let's make this nice and quick, shall we? Let's make it nice and quick. Um, it might actually be cold now that I think about it. Might most definitely be cold. Let's make sure that everybody has uh, adequate gear. Again, we're going to try to uh, spread out some promotions, get some experience on the go. And let's hope that nobody dies in the process. Um, that is never a given. And uh, in the meantime, we'll keep producing what we need because there's a lot of items that we actually still need. Exquisite lingerie being one of the main offenders. Uh, don't panic towels. For those who can hold it. Perfect. 
I don't know. Doing that mission yesterday, it felt like I was slowly being murdered on the inside, but... I'm happy. <laughs> I won't hear the very of them, but I'm happy. I'm happy with the outcome. Alright, that is fine. Let's get some more uh, nice warm clothings. And let's keep this party going. Alright. But yeah, the lack of exquisite lingerie is actually pretty unfortunate for me. Ooh, right off the bat we can see two of them. It's a researcher, it's the academy. Yeah, not gonna lie. I forgot that the Bonaventura has this very nasty open spot that can really screw you up. I always forget that part. I don't know, I feel like the Bonaventura does have some severe issues with its open back. Alright, oh, let's see. Let's hope for the best. Not very proud of it. Anyway, small craft. Um, Let's hope nobody dies here. Now we can see two researchers. Uh, there's probably plenty more out there. We'll see how this goes. I really do not like this. Wow, mutant score even got hit? Come on. Okay, the Bonaventura, it's a painful craft. It is really a painful craft. But what do we see? We see the Academy Medic, we see a Researcher, we see another Researcher. Um, start with the Academy Medic. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my god, we see uh, another Researcher, okay. And I can't believe they got through my freaking armor. I don't know how to count apparently. There we go. Oh shit, that didn't straight up stun her. Ah, they hit my right side of my armor. Of course they did. How convenient for them. Okay, well, we know what to do. Oh, okay, that's cool. Uh, I see where this is going. Today is going to be a great day. Uh, apparently I'm not allowed to be happy. <laughs> apparently I'm not allowed to be happy. Oh man, alright, alright. I see this is, this is one of the days, gotcha. One of those days. Okay, cool. Hey, it's good to know where you're at, right? Um, when the game just uh, flips you off and tells you to go... Go screw yourself. Um, right. She's a problem. Really, Lumilia? I, ha I expected better from you. Okay, well, Lumilia apparently has a crisis at the moment. Uh, so do I. I relied too much on the lasso there. Should not have done that. That was my mistake. Kinda regret that mistake now. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe capping was a really dumb idea in hindsight. And this will straight up kill her. Ah, close enough. Just a slight bit of overstun. 
Gotcha. I'm totally not angry. Okay. Really been enjoying watching your playthrough so far. Oh, thank you there, Salon. There's a hall. My apologies. As long as you're enjoying it, I'm happy. <laughs> Gonna need all the luck I can get. Especially with these shots. Hey, there we go. That solved my issue. Perfect. Hmm. Can I just do an aimed shot? Okay, well, the answer obviously is no. Uh, I think this is where my doggo is gonna kick in. Ah, shoot. Okay, um, I'll leave it to Doggo to save the day. Doggo will not have enough energy though, that is the only downside. I'm a bit worried about my Locknars, my Locknars are quite exposed. Wow, okay, right over armor as well. Today is not a good day. I like how you went for the effort of getting custom channel image. I got bored, really, that's that's the problem. I got bored and it's like, okay, how would you spend those points? I'm like, I actually don't know how to spend those points. And I just have kind of been stuck with it. I, that's my issue. A lot of issues. Like, I went with the effort of getting one whole emote. It's like, oh my god. And then I couldn't figure out what other type of emote I could get. And that was the end of that. Alright, though. Rip Doggo. Punch. Yeah, straight up just kill her. That's right. That will teach her. Anybody actually with a med kit? Nobody with a med kit. One of these days I'm gonna have to be able to figure that out though. I'd like to be able to figure it out, I should say. I seem to be struggling quite a bit with it. Um, she's still overstunned. Let's make sure the medic doesn't completely overstun slash die. That will be nice. And we have an Os uh, Osiren security guard. That's somebody I need to be afraid of. Okay, alright. Go with the vodka. Go. Okay, that's not what I meant to do, but that's alright. Alright, she's actually pretty badly overstunned. Now I'm worried. Yeah, he can actually do quite a bit of damage to me if I'm unlucky. And I know I'm going to be quite unlucky, I know myself. There we go, at least she's bleeding, that's a good start. That's a very good start. With Mila charges to the side, you guys charging closer as well. Yeah, I'm not great when it comes to creativity. One of my many, many weaknesses. So she might actually be able to damage me again, which would be quite unfortunate. And... Did I get hurt there? I don't think I got hurt there, which is quite nice. Ah, oh, jeez, can you stop uh, dying there? That'd be nice. I think if I punch the researcher, she will straight up die, sadly. Ah, oh, not that bad. Excellent. So we have the Osiren security guard, honestly. Um, he's somebody I should deal with as soon as possible. Uh, 
That lack of energy is really hurting me. Oh, god dang it, there's a guy in the back with a light cannon. Uh, that's worrisome. Hey, we got him in one fell swoop. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Let's circle around to craft though. Uh, ooh, hmm, maybe. Maybe in slow baby steps. And not that slow. Damn it, look, Milia. Get your ass in gear. Let's go. Alright, let's take her back to base or something, or at least to somebody else. Uh, do you have a beer available? You do have a beer available, excellent. Alright, she doesn't really seem to stabilize, but the fact that I'm removing a lot of overstun is quite nice. Then again, I think beer removes overstun, question mark? It should, at least for her. Not like we're consuming it ourselves. I hope. We'll see. Anybody left? Yes, we have one person who's left. Let's pick up some more beers. Um, yeah, we also have Dancing Walker, but sure, whatever. So we know there's at least two of them inside the craft. All right, let's keep this going. Ah, shit, the security car got back up. Damn. So the car is back up. Um, a researcher right over here. Another researcher right over here. This will straight up kill her. Uh, let's just use her fisty punch. Okay, well, I tried. <laughs> I tried. No ninja bits right now. We need to recover. So what have you learned from the latest ninja base assault? Um, dynamite hates blowing up walls. Cars are pretty kick-ass. Uh, what else did I learn? Oh, uh, the mortar. The mortar did fantastic work. And that those 40mm turrets do not have ultimate vision across the map during daytime. I believe. And what will you do next time you restart? You mean whenever we do another base assault next time we restart? One of the things we need to get is... We need to go for armored vehicles way quicker. Like, it's just a game changer. Armored vehicles. Um, better armor. Definitely something you need to get as soon as possible. Mortar. I think the mortar is very helpful. Armored car means fighting armored cars, though. Yeah, that's true, but if you get Bounty C token, which we should have gone for earlier as well, you actually get some bounties that have armored cars, and all you need is a recoilless rifle. Or, I guess melee weapons work as well. I mean, we did cut up two cars, or one car with a melee weapon. It only took, like, two slices. Yeah, I really did goof up on it, and it's very embarrassing. Um, at least I'm trying to actively push for a bounty level B, even though I think I'm not even ready for bounty level B. 
But the sooner we have it, the better it is. Also, I probably should have gone for some slave soldiers. Um, I think I've been pretty late on that as well. It will slow down my... Um, Whatchamacallit? It will slow down my... Ooh, found him. The rain? I don't think you can use slave soldiers. Yes, I can. I should be able to. I can research it. Um, if I went with... We need to mill touch. I think we would have gotten it for free. Something along those lines. Huh. How? I don't know. I know what you're talking about. And at first I didn't think we could use slave soldiers either. And then they kind of just showed up. Ooh. Alright. Ah, thank you for failing me there, wield SMG. Yeah, that's another thing that I need to do better on. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Rip all them slaughterer. Uh, shit. There's a lot of things, uh, like for example getting... What was it again? What did we wait forever with? I can't remember anymore. What was that research again? It was a research which just took me way too long to get to library. There you go. And that's not that. Oh shit. She's still alive. Let's see if we can make this. Oh, come on. Alright, alright. Gonna need one more turn for that. I already... Oh, no. I did not use up all my beer. Okay, cool. Oh, interesting. And don't die on me, medic. Don't die on me. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. So we lost our doggo. Um, we did loot the five dead men and seven hostages were taken, which means I think one of the two hostages who was overst and died, which means we might have actually lost the medic. But hey, none of my actual people died, so I'm happy. Um, no, we did get the Academy Medic. Alright, cool. Perfect. Also, I think my prisoner management has been pretty poor. And or air game was pretty crappy. I made a lot of mistakes, and I find it very hard to keep track of them, and that sounds incredibly stupid to say. But I find it incredibly difficult to keep track of it. Because I feel like I need to understand what I did wrong in order to improve next time. But let's be fair, this, this run is doomed. I, I have not uh, changed my mind on that part just yet. We kick out the fat man. But being able to keep track of that is just becoming incredibly difficult. I really should be enslaving most of these people. Uh, we can get rid of one church captive. I think we're researching both the church captive and the female captive. Wait a minute. I should be researching them. But we're not done with it yet. But what happens if I sell both of them? Probably won't be the wisest of ideas, but I guess it's fine. I guess we can sell a human soldier. Yeah, I really should be enslaving these people. That's the main issue here. I really should be enslaving them. Let's get rid of a Raider Fogger. He's a decent slave though. What about... 
no, he's a decent slave. But we're gonna kick him out regardless. Bye bye. And uh, we need to buy ourselves another attack dog. Let's go. No. Guess we don't. Street Fighter, Team of Love, Angel of Death, Veteran, Patient, Monster, Murderer, Psycho, and Bullet Magnet. Ka-ching. Alright, well that was it, guys. It's over. <laughs> it's all over now. And one thing I would love to improve upon, which I'm currently massively failing at, is just good base rolls. Uh, so having a sec to place is nice, but one of the issues that I already am noticing is that our production cannot keep up with uh, our manufacturing. Our manufacturing can't keep up with our sector week production. Which is quite, quite unfortunate. Can you check out the new base in Portugal? Yeah. That is dark, we are out lacking this equipment. Well, at least Dogo knows this place, right? But this is an enemy hideout, secret base assault. Is Catino Wisdom more profitable than Cigars? No, Catino Wisdom is roughly about 1200, whereas the Cigars is 2900. It is currently in Outpost, I think. Yep, it's now post. It's still now post. We might actually need to uh, jump the gun on that, which is incredibly difficult. Is secret base an underground mission? It doesn't look underground, it's just the impression I get over here is. Doo -doo -doo, is that this is gonna be a. blitz attack, and because of that, we cannot take any tanks with us. Depth average. Oh, yeah, this must be actual base assault. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. This isn't even ninja. Shit, you're right. Wow. <laughs> Oh, not guilds in my neighborhood. Hell no. Okay. I, I don't think we can do that. <laughs> I don't think we can do that. I can imagine they have actual base defenses. Yeah, it's Windows Larges where they're. I wasn't expecting that. Those were Academy. Uh, they were Church. The Larges were Church. So it's the Church that's there. But yeah, if I better knew how to set up these bases, um, I know I would have more benefit with that as well. Oh well. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, I am, first of all, gonna look towards my slaves. Who can we enslave? Let's enslave three security guards. Four, four security guards. Academy medic. One human is soldier. One Savigel. And we're gonna rescue two captives. But yeah, we are spread so thin, it's actually pretty insane at the moment. We are spread so incredibly thin. Uh, we're spying on some ninjas, yes. That is correct. With young Ubers. I'm a bit uncomfortable about it. What about ninja gals? Shouldn't we be able to... Um... Enslave some ninja gals. Yet, why not? Because I'm already doing it, right? Yeah, there we go, that's what I'm talking about.
Yeah, we are spread way too thin. Look at that. That's insane. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna recruit some additional grunts. Sorry, ha uh, grunts. My bad. Somehow I doubt faction base will grow larger. Well, one way to find out, right? Okay. But yeah, we are incredibly beaten up. We have gained a basic understanding of the art of magic. For the power of all hands is visible now. What are you missing for industrial printer? Good question. We can now research mind probe, finally distilled rum, master's cane, love magic, want of firebolts, want of airlessness, and soul sets. Now that's cool. Um, I need to research these things though. So first of all, finally distilled rum. Might be interesting. But I don't particularly need it at the moment. Mind probe. If the mind probe still does what I think it does, it might be very interesting to have. Then we have the Wand of Airlessness and Firebolt. Sure, personal attention. Rights to the Queen. Giant Cockroach Carcass. Survival Bow. Fucked Carbine. Heavy Carbine. Recruit Bug Eyes. Overcharged Radar. Beast Riding. Oh yeah, Beast Riding. Amazon Outfit Design. Golden Codex. Slave Gladiatrix. Luxury Spa. Soul Sense. Guntana Training. Hidden Desires. Ninja Weapon Use. Shadow Communicator. Messages Outfit. Seek out the Desert Witch. Pirate Traditions? Holy Warriors. I think Holy Warriors is disabled for us, isn't it? SS Operations is impossible to get, that's why. Because this depends on we need to mill touch. Same with Bonding Ceremony. Pimpcraft. I'm actually kind of 50 50 whether or not I should be getting Pimpcraft because it allows us to pimp out a whole bunch of people, and I think some of these can't actually be turned into slaves. But we're not quite there yet. Energy capacitors. Yeah, not even close. Soldier SS. Maybe. Context Romania. Yeah, I guess we can do a Context Romania. Contacts aren't that bad. Church captive. This person has been captured, liberated from their belongings, shackled and interrogated. What's particular? We weren't the ones doing any of these finding, uh, these things. I guess that makes us the heroic rescuers. Therefore, we shall refrain from further interrogation because that will put us in the same league as the villainous captors. But we are in the same league as the villainous captors. Church female captive. This person is being captured, liberated from their belongings. Oh my. Wait, I can enslave them? <laughs> How far away are we from industrial printer? I think we might actually need back to school for it. Alright, we're quite quite a bit away. Um, industrial scanner, we can research. That should not be an issue. Power tools requires back to school and power tool prerequisition, which requires chainsaw, good skyforge book or reticulian power system. <laughs> no interrogation, but we will enslave them. Yes, um, we'll give them a job, right? That's how nice we are. Uh, what else do we need? What else do we need? And the last thing we need is advanced chemistry, which again requires back to school. Toxic we have, heavy flamer we have, plant lock WP balls we have, and we have both longbow um, arrow researchers as well. So basically this one is good to go with the exception that we need back to school, which we're working on. Baby steps, right? Baby steps.
Not a lot of stuff is happening at the moment, that kinda scares me. <laughs> smuggler Strongbox, used by smugglers to transport valuable contraband. Protected by an electronic lock and set to destroy contents if tampered with. Which just happened, by the way. The breaking in takes some time, as well as workshop, as well as a workshop and a lab. It still comes with some risks of breaking what's inside. Ah, shoot. It's funny that we ended up with a free. Um, with the free books, and then I destroyed the books for the research. Rip. Okay, so far so good. We're down to five days on most of these things. Five to six days. And some more stuff is popping in. We got some Soylent, Yuck, and some Scrap Metal. See, we're getting through this. Cat cannon rounds, excellent. Oh, I'm very excited about that. I don't think we're going to be doing anything significant today. Ooh. Ooh, two gun almanox. Almanox? Almanox. And a bunch of other junk I don't care about. <laughs> uh... Ah, here we go, the ninja boxes. Let's see, we got 40mm rounds, chemicals, nice, optronic parts, great, helium, some Durafred mesh, medical supplies, money purses, inertial accelerators, and that's it. That's it. Oh, speak about that's it. Let's intercept. I did say it's very small. I'm not sure if I can do this with uh, four people aboard here. I don't know if I can do this with four people. I guess it really depends on what type of craft we're going to be fighting, but sure, I, I guess I can give it a try. Yeah, tech vest is technically speaking safer to use. Alright, well let's intercept to see where this goes. I might actually send up my main craft to deal with this. Ah, it's a civilian craft. Alright, I just wanted to make sure I was shooting it down in the mountains so we didn't have to deal with extra cold uh, or extreme cold environments. I've learned my lesson about that part. The hard way. The very hard way. And there we go. Well, I do want to go for caps. Huh. Can I use these people for that? That's the real question. I don't even think I put my handles aboard. Hmm. Do I have anybody in my main base who would want a training mission? No, everybody here looks adequately, uh, adequately stocked. Some of these people down here, uh, I guess this entire group, they could use more transmission, but some of them are out for 22 days, so let's just do this. With the B team. Oh! There's no way I'm going to be able to, able to intercept this with a scarab, but let's send out the worm and see if the worm can actually shoot them down. Yep. 
Let's see if the worm can shoot them down. And we'll have to scarab till it as long as possible. Uh, let's hope this works. I don't think I should be doing this during night time, but I guess I can. It's humans we're dealing with anyways. Whoa, 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 hold on. I actually sent the Scarab back on purpose because I do believe that the Scarab can make do with, let's see, handles. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Three handles. Wish we could bring in the tech dog, but we can't. And, well, landmines will be pretty self deficient. Uh, I basically will blow myself up with landmines, is what I'm trying to say here. I don't know if this is a good idea. I feel like small crust makes sense, large crust not so much. Alright, let's do this. Ooh, we now also see the voodoo. Excellent. I feel like I need better guns than Tommy guns. Tommy guns are nice and all, but I think we've outgrown them. It'd be perfect if everybody could be using Linux uh, SMGs, but they're expensive to make. I do not have uh, all the time in the world to make them. I don't know. I feel like these people are actually pretty underprepared, all things considered, but uh, what do I know? You know, what do I know? Alright, uh, shotgun. There we go. Med kit, one too many. God, she barely, uh, barely can carry anything, but double do. There you go, mint wick. Right, big shotgun. Bunch of grenades. I'll take it. Painbringer SMGs might be nice. Maybe I should bring Painbringer SMGs. Maybe that will do the trick. Also, I probably should have equipped a few handles just, you know, whenever it became relevant. Oh, for the people who can carry it. Also, they probably should be in my offhand. Ah, uh, let's be fair. Yeah, she can't carry it. Yeah, that was a thinking mistake on my end, but hey, we're rectifying it. Right, so filling craft is right over there. Uh, oh my god, you can't be serious. Okay, that's... That is nightmarish, I'm not gonna lie, that is, that is awful. I really wish I had a smoke grenade with me after all. I think I just dropped most of them on the ground. Yeah, I did. Okay. So the light of the craft is looking right at the exit, so they're going to be able to spot me and shoot me. Uh, the rest is pretty straightforward. Uh, we fan out, we find and we kill them. Let's operate in groups of two. And let's make sure that our backs aren't turned towards them. You know, maybe an iPhone would have been nice as well. It's a bit unfortunate that... Bingo. Uh, the area is quite a bit hilly. Yeah, 
his night vision is 9, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Wait, or night vision is 9 as well? That doesn't make much sense. Alright, his gun is rather dangerous though with 27 piercing. Uh, he might high roll and actually hurt me. Here we go. And that is why we brought the whacking stick. So yeah, six people is the most likely count of enemies we're gonna be facing on this mission. Let's keep that in mind as we're slowly moving forward. Pushing too aggressively. Unfortunate. So there is one problem I have over here. If one of them decides to show up over here, they can actually shoot me from my side. Which is not what I'm looking forward to. And just like that, the guy shows up on my side. Interesting. I think it's safe to go there. Oh, it's only two of them? I'm pretty sure that was a very, uh, that was a small craft, wasn't it? Well, I take it. Take it. Uh, so only Plundering Page got something out of this, and I'm okay with it, because nobody got hurt, nobody died. And really, in the end, isn't that the real win? What I always like to say. Anyways, we got ourselves some more slaves, so let's uh, ship all of this stuff over. Damn, I think I lost the craft. Oh, found it. Oh, lucky us. Alright, so those are Academy members. That is not something I should just fight for the fun of it. And we're gonna move a little bit... Ooh, we're gonna move a little bit down. So, was the hideout assault a successful last night? I went to bed before it concluded. I wish I could say the same thing, but yes, we did uh, wipe it out. It's gone. At the very, very steep price of my sanity. Didn't miss out on anything, Zorgel. And now we're gonna spend the next 20 streams preparing for the next one. <laughs> Alright, so. It's Academy. Or Guild. It's it's one of the guilds. It's either Trader Guild, the Academy, or well not the church. You know, when my girls got flamethrowered and RPG'd, I thought it was over for them. I thought they were going to die. And they survived. Which was like, whoa! I mean, they didn't do anything the rest of the match, and Blazing Ball nearly got murdered at the end, but... That was something, alright. Don't make me pull out the big guns, buddy. Alright, he went down. I think I'm gonna pull out the bigger craft for this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pull out the bigger craft. I actually thought I had lost that UFO. I'm very happy we managed to find it. I thought it went in a straight path, but apparently it diverted a little bit to the right somewhere around this area, most likely. Um, Yeah. So pulling out the bigger craft in this case means we're gonna go to our hands. Uh, sorry, we go to the Bonaventura and then we go to our hands, or aka our crew. 
Um, if we wait one day, I can bring two additional people, which would be quite nice. And that's how we're gonna do it. Pyro Man, SS Armor. Wait, what? That doesn't look like a Pyro Man. Named after the legendary Pyro Man <laughs> Empire, great slave masters of Ian's past. It takes much discipline to teach slave soldiers to properly fight and march in this armor, as well as feed them enough mutant meat for strength, hence the long production time. Made of Durafret and metal, dyed in Soylent Red. Extra experience. Hi, Roman. <laughs> I see it now, that's good. That's good. But, uh, ooh, that frontal armor is almost non existent. It's like you want him to die. Oh my, look at that. That actually isn't too bad. Additional bravery, time units, strength, melee. Humans have like six armor everywhere normally. Okay, that's fantastic in that case. But no, I'll work on the crew. Go crusading, boys. And crusader SS armor. <laughs> I can't say that seriously. It's only gonna take us roughly about 15 days. Alright, so. It is midnight, which means um, that these girls are ready to rumble, and rumble they will. Death to Vault is Pillow Night, oh no. Um, I'm actually debating whether or not I should be taking the car 5th 105 recoilless rifle with me. I think that might be overkill. That might be overkill, yeah. Let's do it, let's do it. There's no reason for me not to take it. It's a nice tank, um, quite literally. Oh my god, I can give it to a Loknar. <laughs> that is amazing. Uh, and firing is based on, what was it again? Reactions and, no, firing and bravery, which this Loknar actually doesn't have. So it doesn't really make sense to give her that. Uh, we'll give it to Fiery Hunter. I gotta keep in mind that whoever is driving the um, the tank or the car might not get a lot of kills in. It will definitely be Fiery Hunter, let's be fair. Ooh, Dan Dancing Walker, hell yes, congratulations. Now that right here is a person who should be driving cars. Um, last but not least, I think it's going to be a day mission, which is a bit unfortunate. So yeah, let's make the best out of this. I'll give these gals a uh, sweet little pirate armor there we go because pirates should improve their firing by plus five melee plus 15 but it's less armor let's actually go with warrior armor because they can carry uh they can equip it let's grab some um chainmails because look at this chesty patricia and four stits are both back in action They've been out for like 70 days, it's actually pretty insane. Alright, and we're gonna send out a ton of Ventura. For a small craft, this might seem quite a bit overkill, and in my opinion, it is a bit overkill. But A, I wanna go for caps, and B, I wanna make sure nobody gets beaten up. So, I didn't want to leave it to my older guy. Done. Dank memes is uh, pretty dank about her memes. 
But I think I'm gonna go for the RCF rifle, which is a little bit less damage, I think. But everything else will be too heavy. Well, as long as he manages to hit stop, I'm happy. Uh, this should not be a cold environment. I wanted to make sure that this is not a cold environment. Might be a tiny bit cold, we'll see. I guess everybody can wear their... Um, their hats, right? There we go. Ooh, I'd rather keep those time units. I still need to figure out a good gun for the ones with very low carrying capacity. Um, normally I'd say the UAC Carbine, uh, the Tommy Gun, or the Assault SMG. I don't know what the damage on the Assault SMG is, and I really should research it one of these days. Let's see if the Tommy Gun is more than enough. It is. It definitely is. Alright. Uh, Fiery Hunter, you're fine. Uh, done better. I want you to do more damage. No offense. I would love to use the custom SMG. And we're going to be using the custom SMG. I always forget that we can actually make the uh, small ammo variant of the custom SMG. Which is fantastic. I mean, it packs a punch and that's all I care about. Uh, mean look, Milia. Treasure those custom SMGs. I am treasuring them like crazy. These things, uh, they're 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 amazing. They're amazing. I'm not gonna lie. They're really good. Especially because they're one-handed as well, which just makes them completely insane. Like this is better than the Painbringer. Like, who needs two handed weapons when you have that thing? Oh, yeah, Steam Hammer. Alright, without much further ado, I think we are ready to go. Um, I'm gonna give some people. Uh, first of all, space towels, second of all. scarves. I'm just playing it safe. That's that's all I'm doing. It's possible we're actually in a cold area because we did drop down in um, whatever the hell you want to call that place. Have you seen the custom hand cannon? No. Yes. Is that the heavy carbine? Because oh my god, the heavy carbine. Oh, it makes me feel tingly inside. No, no. In that case, no, I haven't seen it. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is not fine, but I'll take it. Alright, I think we're ready to drop. I really should be using more, um... I really should be using more... Ba -ba -ba -ba, what do you call that crap? iPhones. What do you call that crap? One, the handgun and doesn't get the god awful handgun armor efficiency. Oh boy. Now we're talking. I really hate how open this craft is. Um... If this door could be closed, this craft would be fantastic. But no, we don't have that luck. We don't have that luxury. Like, one of these days, somebody's just gonna come under a craft and throw a grenade in and bam, blow everybody up. I think I can in manufacturing, right? I think we were working on it or we got it, yeah. One of those two. Yeah, 
human coons. Hmm. Humans, humans, humans. All oh, the humans. I'm just afraid of any nades they might throw. RPGs they might shoot. You're... no. You're supposed to cap! Or what are you doing? God damn it. Just try to murder two of them. That's awful. Did you set the reaction weapon? No. I forgot that. That's the worst part of all. <laughs> uh, good times. Yeah, good times, right? Alright, well, I don't want to straight up murder him, but here we go. <laughs> oh, there you go. Um, both Heart Demon and Aldo Slaughter got some experience out of that, which is fantastic because it was four Stits who did the mass murdering here. So, yeah, I'm happy. Heavy suit. Tactical armor and heavy machinery training, which requires human powered armor, which requires human powered armor parts. I think we have access to that. Yeah, that was an overdeploy. So I was expecting the small ship to be an academy ship. With six people in it, six to eight people. And I wanted to go purely for captures. So I was hoping if we bring like eight people with us. That we can train by shooting at them and trying to knock them KO. And then we have two to four people supporting plus the vehicle. That should make for a very safe mission, but it turned out to be a lot easier than that. Uh, what, what, what was it? Heavy suit, tactical armor, modern personal armor, which requires tinkering, security armor. We have access to both of them. Cool. Encrypted data disk, uber helmet, red cap, human goons. How do you set reaction weapon? Right clicking on the weapon. So there's a few rules to it. So if an enemy gets close to you and you have to decide between using, for example, your fist or your gun, it will use your fist. But if an enemy walks within your range and is outside your melee range, it will always use your ranged attack. As far as I understood. Melee gets priority. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But right clicking it shows a little triangle in the top right of the weapon itself. I wish I could show it, but... <laughs> oh shit! Um... Alright, we're gonna have to sell some stuff. I'm quickly gonna run through all of this, because I do know there's some... Uh, miscellaneous stuff laying about that I don't care about. Doop, 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 doop. What are we gonna kick out? What are we gonna kick out? I know exactly what we're gonna be kicking out, but I wanna see if there's anything else I wanna kick out. Uh, the thing I'd love to kick out at the moment is the Soylent, because we did gain, like, I think it was 20 Soylent. We are selling quite a bit of Soylent, and holy crap, Girl Guides as well. Oof. Go to decrypt some of those data disks again. Um, 23 money purses, by the way. Oof. Nice. Signet rings, art piece. Ah, huh, we can sell that. That's nice. Consumer medical supplies. Ah, here we go. Soylent. There you go. We have stasis spots. That's cool. Alright. Uh, small ship engines. Yeah, we're sitting on like 15 small ship engines. I might actually disassemble them. Might. 20 slave mates, 5 slaves, 3 squires. What am I even gonna do with your squires? 
Squire training. Uh, Tomb SS armor, demonic essence. Oh, gee. Uh, that's gonna take a while. Land deeds, glamour, inert accelerators. Okay. Oh my god. I remember when we were almost out of scrap metal, and now we're sitting with over 400 of it. That's cool. There. Down to 300. That's fine. We have some chem coats. Uh, ooh. Lots of vodka. Mouse wheel isn't working, Gneffel. I just can't figure out the mouse wheel part. Don't get it. Did you disable it? I probably did. That might actually be it. Or maybe it wasn't enabled by default. I can take a look at it. I can definitely take a look at it. After, of course, I'm done with all of this, right? Oh my god, how do we have 79 poison gas grenades? When did that spin out of hand? Until then, you guys can enjoy me doing this manually, like scrub. <laughs> I don't want to stand the other way. <laughs> uh, uh, somebody shoot me. Anything else that really stands out, which uh, I find very unexpected. Uh, way too much auto gun ammo. Let's reduce that to 12. Way too many auto guns as well. Okay, that's fine. Sniper rifles. Can get rid of two sniper rifles. Dragoon rifles. Well, actually... Yeah, 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 we can keep two. Custom SMGs, anti-tank rifles. I think I'm gonna get rid of the anti-tank rifles. We have much better stuff at the moment. Even though it's piercing, I think we can get rid of it. Okay, well, I think that's good enough, right? Okay... That's a little bit more chem shells than I expected to have. Let's put a cancel to the production order because I think we're still producing more of them. And that's insane. I did say that's enough and here I am still going. Um, I think hand cannon shot needs to go, but we'll see. Yeah, let's get rid of shot. I don't know why I have that crap. I bought it by accident. I meant to get rounds. That's a lot of Slayer clips. Guess we can get rid of some Stumbolt. Harpoon guns can go because they've been replaced by the carbines. Okay. Um, yeah, that's good enough for me. I know I say that every single time and then I just keep going. I, I have a problem, alright? <laughs> I have a problem. Yeah, alright. Okay, okay, okay. Helio. Supersized and trigger happy. Holy crap. Forced is, is at 7 with trigger happy. Award for attempting reaction fire. Trigger happy on our weapon. Alright, let's uh, quickly dive into options, shall we? So, if we go to controls, I think it's under controls. Toggle country detail. Advanced General Automatic Update Check Play Intro Auto Save Save Scumming Lazy Lazy Loading That VR That looks disabled to me. Let's try that. We'll see how it goes. Uh... Catching. I did say I would cancel this. Doesn't matter if we're done producing it anyways. Oops.
Oh, we're making decent progress and there are my runs. Excellent. Let's keep the manufacturing jobs up. Yeah, like my lack of producing slaves really has hamstringed me quite often in my opinion. Um, I could have accomplished a lot more a lot quicker if I had more um, slaves. That's alright. Also, one thing that I need to start thinking about is... I can only have up to... how many was it? Let's see. 16 runs here. I'd like to get 9 more. Even that might not be enough for the amount of uh, sector wheat we're producing. Tinkering! Science has never been so much fun! With all the tools and resources available in the workshop, we brainers can design various gadgets and gizmos and always research stuff that was impossible to research previously. Oh, also research stuff that was previously impossible to research. Uh, going from all this lofty philosophy to direct applications is refreshing for sure. Industrial scanner, stone grenade, Cavalier weaving, cooking by the book, chainsaw good. Air musket? Oh man, all of this is fantastic. Cavalier weaving is important, cooking by the book is important, chainsaw good is important. I'm kind of curious about air musket and I guess industrial scanner is pretty ok as well. What does it lead to? Assault marine armor. Alright. Mint. Counterfeit red ships. What else do we have? Air musket is also good. Let's check it out. Can be used on the water. Oh yes, that is great. That is really good. That is really, really good. Mind probe takes too long at the moment. Uh, Kevlar weaving leads to Kevlar mesh times 3. That is actually really good. Uh, Durafret printing nanocarbon materials. Alright, we're getting somewhere. Gorilla care prerequisition. I think this is broken. I'm just gonna go out on the hunch and I think this is broken. We have not acquired the Gorilla Gear prerequisition, but we have actually researched it. Because we're missing Kevlar weaving. It's either unlocked by Kevlar armor parts or Kevlar weaving, but the both depends on the Gorilla Gear prerequisition and camouflage. I think this is a typo. This is how it's supposed to be and... Shit. This is not supposed to be there. Yeah, whatever. I guess it makes sense. Sniper gear. Sniping summary. Sniping gear, you say? Hmm. I don't really need snipers at the moment. Okay. What else do we have? A back lag. Surgery room. Good surgery kit. Back to school, which is important. And surgery unit. Field surgery kit. I'm getting sidetracked from what I was supposed to do. Partish. Luxury Spa. Alright, Luxury Spa is, I believe, important. So, I'd like to research Swimsuit, which I think we were doing in Slave Gladiatrix, which is 10 days. Let's queue this up. What about Slave Lasher? I am bet glad. Mining ship. Super Slave Kia. Uh huh. Aerodynamics. Ok. 
very important. Swimsuit is important. <laughs> I lost complete track of what I was supposed to do. There is so much good stuff out here. The custom hand cannon. Do I have the custom hand cannon? Yes, I do. Alright, let's do it. I, I don't even know what we... Cooking by the book. Chainsaw good. Toxicon is also important. I have the hand flamer and the long range flamer, but I don't have a heavy flamer. Interesting. I should be interrogating a human goon as well. Uh, girl guide is important. An Omiyak. I've been holding off on the ninja scroll in the hopes that we can actually get rid of some of these things uh, laying around as well. But, well, let's just research the ninja scroll. I think I'm happy. Uh, so as you can see, there's a few things I'd like to research. <laughs> uh, that's just it. I don't care right now about named plot hounds. Let's forget about that. We'll contact Romika, we'll research the leader and the instructor and the raider mistress. And then we also start focusing on these things down here. Starting with these little researches uh, that should be relatively easy. Uh, cooking by the book, very important, but it requires a few people on it. Slave gladiatrix is 10 days, but it's very important for me to get it. And aerodynamics will take a while as well. Swimsuit will be pretty good to get, so let's do that. <sighs> oh guys, I'm gonna break my back one of these days. We need more brainers. We have a library in 11 days. That's gonna be good. I hate how messy this base is. I really hate how messy this base is. Kills me on the inside. Also, I've debated whether or not I should be shipping away at least a bolt sash. And maybe getting rid of some of these peasants, or uh... Well, maybe ship away Bosgal and Instant Demzel, because we have 20 dogs, but I don't know how the dogs hold up. But I definitely need some actual human companions to uh, keep them in check. Alright. Isolated village. Now, last time we did this, I was a bit worried about the uh, fallout it was gonna cause, but we survived. We survived and we thrived. But that does mean I need to uh, gather the gals once more. Yeah, this won't be an issue. I'll wait a few days with it. In the meantime, we can keep manufacturing away some of these uh, slaves. I wonder if there's any additional slaves that I can deal with. Uh, of course, I probably should be sorting by... What, what sla slavery? There we have it. This is how I should do it. I should not use S uh, and then double dots. Doesn't work in certain scenarios. Two slave laborers, I'll take it. I'm not gonna touch this. Trader Smoothie. Why does it show a 1? Probably because we get bandages. Hmm. Like the only issue that I have with this entire layout is that I don't actually know my prisoners. So there have been cases where for example I would have a... Uh, what was it again? Who was it? Was it the Savvy Gal? I think it was the Savvy Gal. So we had a savvy gal, and she also required a leather whip, but because we did not have a leather whip, we could not turn them into slavery, so... Because it showed the dash, I just assumed we didn't have any savvy girls. They were, um, taking up space in my, uh, prison. Yeah, we're getting through these people, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Uh, 
Man, we're now finally actually getting actual slaves, it's amazing. Alright. Oh! Oh! 2200 small craft, what are we dealing with? Wait, these are my crafts. Uh, wait, hold on, what was that? An old fighter hull. Ah! Since we're not a damaged ship yet, we need such junk and magic to build vessels, except it's not really magic, but hard work. Cool. I'm looking for shipping, though. The scout is very small. It'll be a runabout. I think it's a rebel freighter. It matches the speed, it matches the um, size. Must be a rebel freighter. But I think a rebel freighter is not a hunter killer ship. Do not confuse these with raider ships, which is easy due to the same derelict lock. These vessels are used by mutant alliance traders and local entrepreneurs, sometimes linked to provisional governments. Shoot them down will incur a huge penalty. That's something I completely forgot about, but that's cool. But yeah, that is not a hunter killer. Um, we're gonna check it out. Uh, with the worm we can always outrun it if it becomes an issue. By the way, how is this hideout looking? I think this hideout uh, over here... Uh, Barbados. Barbados might actually need more ammunition. Yep, it does. Okay. I need to purchase or produce more of those. Check it out. Can I pr purchase it? Yes, I can. Alright, let's purchase 10 of it. It's an expensive undertaking, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's a hunter-killer, so I don't think it's a rebel freighter. Oh shit. Worst case scenario, we pull out, we go back home, right? <gasps> oh! Out, 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 out! Okay, so that is a sky ninja. <laughs> That's a sky ninja. That's an actual interceptor. I wonder if the worm can take it. I know they can't. Because uh, that thing probably has pretty decent uh, dodge. That's good to know. Bounty hunt level C. Trader's gate. What a day, what a day. A group of archaeologists we have hired has vanished and all our security subcontracts are currently busy, which created this problem in the first place. Would you investigate the dig site they were exploring? Relax, no complex problems to solve. We simply want any genuine old coins you can find there, whether they've got legs or not. Why does this have zombies written all over it? Alright, so cars are not allowed. Oh no. Now I remember why I disabled it. Alright, well, it depends where I keep my mouse, right? Um, yeah, so no cars. More warrior outfits. Sort by mission. What about the bull's outfit? How good is the bull's outfit? Minus 5, minus 15. Oh, my bad, sorry. Uh, I think we refer to them as the Z, right? From the Z Plague. How inconsiderate of me. I don't think we need this, so. Let's we'll stick with the warrior outfit.
Yeah, I think we're gonna stick with the warrior outfit. Alright, um, how's the unfreshness looking? Yowzers. It's pretty good on most people, but, uh... Yeah, uh, these guys have seen better days. Yet, they're the best people in the business. Alright. So many Loknars. They're actually called zombies. I was just remarking how they pop up everywhere by random chance. <laughs> yeah. I know, but I, I know they also refer to them as Zs, I believe. Uh, I think. I don't know. Either way, we have a mission to do, and I'm very afraid of it. I hate missions that I'm not familiar with whatsoever. Um, that usually is going to cause issues for me in the long run, but we'll see. Oh my god, I'm bringing all my Lognars. Oh boy, that can backfire. It's pretty insane, let's be fair. It's pretty insane how often... Holy crap, that heavy suit looks pretty heavy. It's actually pretty insane how often... Um, zombies do tend to show up. Alright, so we lose out on roughly about... 25 time units. Some energy. Gain more HP. More firing. Goes out on some throwing as well. I think the armor on this thing must be pretty good. I don't think I want to use it though. <laughs> I don't think I want to use it. <sighs> Alright. So many Loknars. The thing that scares me the most is whenever I do these type of missions, I'm relying quite heavily on Loknars, uh, which is a terrible sign. We're gonna be doing the Valley mission in a few days. Um, they're coming back. One of the things I should be doing already is I should probably start by transferring some of these hands over here to the village. Um, I think I mentioned relying on peasants, right? Because isolated villages require just peasants. Nobody else is allowed. So I have to send over a bunch of peasants to fight for me. I don't like that. Sometimes I don't even listen to half the stuff I say myself. It's the only only way I can stay sane, let's be fair. Boy. <gasps> no free accommodations? Knew it. Alright. Like <sighs> freaking peasants, I swear. Alright, we're gonna be doing a little dick side. Everybody likes a dick side. Um, I think the temperate, uh, the weather was temperate, if I remember correctly. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna just equip what we usually equip. And then pray to God we're not gonna die. I don't even know why I'm wearing gas masks anymore. Um, it actually worked out quite well with the with the worm, but nowadays we really need them. I mean, if the enemy uses choke on us, at least uh, we won't be as affected. I do remember at one point somebody threw a poison gas gas gr a poison gas grenade on the asses, and we were a okay. And I think partially because of the gas masks. Otherwise, those things can be quite damaging. At least that's what I tell myself to uh, feel better about it. I need more exquisite lingerie. I am gonna have to start digging on how I can get more of it. Alright, let's get this done, shall we? Let's get this done. Okay, so starting with Nikki. That's actually a very weird place to start, but yeah, starting with Nikki. Uh, Nikki is looking mighty fine. Unsure how effective gas masks are. Um, well, I mean, 
It reduces the effect of any choking damage you take by 2 to 3. If resistant to the type of damage is already 50% or better, it has no further effect. So it uh, seems to be also a flat damage uh, decrease of the damage you take. 2 3 is not significant, but hey, I'll take it. But it's a weight of 4, so. Hey, it's better than nothing, right? What type of SMG should I use? I think I'm gonna stick with the UAC rifle and Nikki is not gonna use the iPhone. I would like two people to use the iPhone. Um, might be a bit too much to ask. Okay, fallen bitch. I like your enthusiasm, but not today. So fallen bitch has fantastic melee, so wabam, she's gonna get a weapon, and of course she's gonna get the custom SMG, which is actually rather heavy. Ah, uh, that means she can't really have a beer. And vodka for that matter. Yeah, this works. Uh, Lone Star with Tommy. Fiery Hunter with the Linux Mandrake, excellent. So many Loknars. And she's also gonna get the iPhone. Which is a bit awkward, but I'll take it. Tana, also is gonna get an iPhone. Bastilla, ooh. I think if she can use an assault machine gun, she should be able to use the Linux Drake, right? Alright, let's do this. She should be able to use the Linux Drake, where is it? Yes, yes she can, excellent. Not sure if I've mentioned it, but I do really like the Linux Drake, it's pretty great. Pretty great gun. Uh, Fusu knives are nice and all there, Esther, but not today. Uh, you are gonna be taking... Yes, smoke grenades would be nice. Maybe a medkit. Let's go with a medkit. So, we're gonna be doing an archaeology site. I'm imagining it might look either like the desert which is an open area, or it might look like the cellars, and we're kind of more underground. Choke rest is like that because it's meant to nurse smoke camping. Wow, that is rude. So incredibly rude. How dare they? I'll have you know, smoke camping is very valid and an uh, integral part of my gameplay. Besides the fact that, of course, you're gonna get naded to death, you're gonna get grenaded to death, you're gonna get RPG to death. Smokes are hard coded to do 1 to 3 damage. Wait, what? Y you mean stun damage, right? No way that's, that it does 1 to 3 HP damage. Alright, I'm getting sidetracked. Let's uh, continue our setup. Autumn Slaughter is fine. Uh, Dancing Walker. Uh, ooh, what am I gonna do with her? Um, I would like to do something fun with her. How about we give her a Painbringer SMG? How about we give her a Wield SMG? Hell yes. I hate it, but at the same time, I kind of love it. No, that's too heavy. <laughs> that is way too heavy. I think it's like 45 way, 60 if it's loaded. And we'll also give her a tiny knife. She will never need that knife, actually. Um...
How about some smoke grenades? We have one more iPhone. Um, Unit Millia is fine. Tank Memes is fine. Dumb Badger? <sighs> now she's fine. Okay, let's uh, let's roll. <sighs> All right, so it's an underground mission. Where on the map are we? Are we in the top left corner again? We are in the top left corner again. Okay. So normally we'd camp up here and we'll just laugh as the enemy comes charging towards us. But there's a few things about it. If we're actually dealing with humanoids, and I'm expecting zombies. <laughs> but if we're dealing with humanoids, um, they might just lob a grenade up there and kill 10 people. And my entire item stash. So that being said... Uh, that being said, people are going to stay a bit in the back. Now the question is, how can I set up my MG without killing my own guys? This will work, right? I should double check that there's nobody there. Uh, you know, as a precaution. Okay, there's nobody there. Perfect precaution. So yeah, my biggest fear at the moment is that one of them is just gonna show up and just decide to duck a duck on my ass. I think I'm gonna keep some people in the back in that case. Also, I am not looking forward to any friendly fire accidents, so... Um Let's make sure that the people who are standing in the back uh, will not have any accidents. All I can hope for is that they can't see me. Again, assuming that we're dealing with humanoids, uh, it's also possible we're dealing with zombies. Alright, the first turn just has to be played defensively, after that we can go on the offense. It's all about timing. Alright, let's see. Whew. Okay, we can see two of them. Good start, good start. No. Uh. Alright. It's a bit awkward, but sure. Not what I was expecting. Um... Any other shield maidens around who wanna do a little blitz? There's uh, a tunnel of doom. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, it's always the ancient field. We know there's at least two down here. I could alternatively also try to uh, chuck through the site over here with a pickaxe, but that might actually take a few turns. I'm not looking forward to that part. We'll start stacking some units and hopefully we won't be graced with any grenades. And I do not feel good about it. <laughs> I do not feel good about it. Oh, uh, you know, unless it's going to be zombies. There is still out on that one. Alright. Um... I think I see the outline of stairs over here. Right, so that's actually a safe haven that I could go to. Fantastic. Uh, let's keep moving, let's keep moving. This mission already is becoming a pain up my arse. Gonna lie. I'm starting to suspect we might actually be dealing with humans or maybe Lognars or the likes. Also, somebody should be picking up the pickaxe that was over here, right? Right? There it is. Excellent. And then we can start pickaxing uh, at the wall. If maybe we can speed this entire uh, process up a bit. Otherwise, this is gonna be a long, long mission. Uh oh. Might be a very short mission for uh, dank memes. What should be humanists? Aw, uh, RPGs? That's all I'm hearing right now. Freaking RPGs. More like RIPGs. Get it? Because it's gonna kill us. An adventurous archaeologist. I don't even want to think about that. I don't even know what it means. Okay. Alright, Lognarsh, keep moving. What should be like four enemies? How embarrassing would that be? Four enemies with RPGs. <laughs> Don't know why. <laughs> no afraid that it's RPGs. Nobody nearby. Alright, I see what's going on over here. God damn it. Alright, well, at least um, we're already heading in the right direction. Uh, no wonder they're not blitzing me. Right. All this time and effort for nothing. Right, fellas. Come on, ship up. I need motion tracks on both sides. Perfect. Let's get this done as soon as possible. Uh, Nikki, go fetch me my hammer. I know, I know. It's too little for. Uh, it's too heavy for your little hands, but that's okay. What a fun mission, right guys? What a fun mission. Huh. Didn't even have to desire the fact either. 
Can you not walk up the stairs at the bottom right? Uh, there is no stairs here. This is the wall. And there is a dead end wall over here as well. That's why they're not blitzing me either. Uh, because we're just separated. Hey, we're almost through. I don't think that weapon has... Ah, shit, the destructive power I wanted to have. Alright, next turn, guys. Next turn. And then we're gonna go kick ass. I f still think it would have been smarter if I had destroyed the wall over here. I think there are certain cutoff points, and that's one of the cutoff points. Alright, Gaping Skeleton, you did a good job. Do this. I don't know if uh, one more hit will actually expose me. I'm very afraid some of these girls are about to go insane and shoot each other. Um, some of their morale seems to be rapidly. Oh dear lord, done better. Why? Fallen bitch, why? I don't like it. Mission needs to end ASAP. Let's go. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're through. And just in time, all right. What? I'm still not seeing anything? Come on. Oh, that's a terrible angle to hold. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Alright, girls, come on. I think there's more down here. Everybody who has a grain of sanity, please start moving forward. Everybody who has a grain of insanity, please, please, don't. Okay, don't. Yeah, those people are high-risk cases. I do not like it. I know they're down there. I know that this, this turn we're gonna get contact. The question is how bad will it be. Alright, well I know next turn we're gonna get contact. The question is how bad it's gonna be. Gee, where the hell did you guys go? Also, it's pitch black. Something else to keep in mind. Freaking knew it! I bloody damn well knew it! Zombies! God damn it! It's always the same. It's always the same with these guys. You can't give me a damn break. Fucking zombies. I'm telling you, I'm the victim here. Alright. Let's get this done. Stupid zombies. Doing stupid things. Being stupid. Alright, let's clear them out. 
Let's clear him out and bring home the bacon before everybody panics and starts murdering one another. Thank you very much. Stupid soapies. Bon appetit. Yeah, bon appetit to you as well. Uh, thanks, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Sweet sound of zombies dying. That's what I like to hear. Any more zombie nonsense out there? Let me know now. Get this over with as discreetly as possible. Okay, we've seen two zombies. I'm pretty sure there's another seven lurking about. So let's make this count as quickly as we can. And people are going insane already. Uh, fallen bitch won't recover, but we can actually move forward with um, Tana. I'm just being ignored by them. Can you believe that? Zombie Fatman, you say? Alright. Totally not suicidal what I'm doing, but that's okay. Want this mission to end at this point. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Just gotta keep the ball rolling. Should have brought Slayer bullets. Or I should have equipped Slayer bullets. Rookie mistake. Got them. Bye bye. Yep. Bye bye. You know what the thing is that scares me the most about this? The fact that I have to deal with them and we can run into a whole bunch of different types of zombies that I need to be scared of. Every zombie can be a different nightmare for me. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Um, big win! We did it! Yeah! Woohoo! I have no idea how to get custom whispers. Did you get any tokens? Uh... No tokens, but we did get old coins which we can trade in for tokens. I think it's like, what, 10 tokens? Yeah, so like 180 tokens. No direct tokens though, by the looks of it. Uh, 
but turn that to go super chest. Alright, you old tokens, let's get rid of them. What do they qualify as anyways? Trophies, okay. Uh, let's check out our trophies section altogether. Thirty millimeter cannon. Uh, ah, we need the Boomosaurus, I believe. Yes, we need the Boomosaurus. All right. Let's get the Boomosaurus. And we just need the Omega rifle. And the Omega rifle requires Goblin Zax tokens. And to get gun collector, we need a whole bunch of things. We need the ochre shotgun, the assault shotgun. Um... Oh man, that's expensive. Trophy gambler. What am I missing for this? Eggplants, melons, red pepper, pumpkins. Maybe I need to get trophy gambler one of these days. I've been saving up for it, but... Oh, you see how quickly that's going. Okay, so... I need lots of tokens. Uh, scope Magnum? Is Scope Magnum a prerequisition for anything? It's a prerequisition for the Hand Mortar. And the Persuadotron. You know what? SS Price. Um, scope Magnum is how many tokens exactly? Ah, it's Goblin Zax tokens. Yeah, I do not want to spend those yet. Alright, well. On due time. On due time. Just kind of trying to plan out what I need my tokens for. Oh, very important. Very important stuff. Can't underestimate the value of planning. Ooh. Ah, they move too fast. I can't intercept them. None of living space, accommodation, recruited, soldier, slave. Okay, that is frustrating, yeah. Hmm. It's because I moved a bunch of peasants over, but still, frustrating. Uh, oh. Something tells me the guild is up to no good. Homosaurus has been achieved. Excellent. All we gotta do now is research it amongst the uh, 5,000 different things we gotta research. So much to research, it's insane. Uh, that being said... A mutant pogrom in warped stone. You know, last time we did a mutant pogrom, uh... Uh, yeah, I wasn't having a good time, <laughs> I was definitely not having a good time, and we don't really have a lot of people available. You know, I think it's about time for me to actually start thinking about how I want to deal with the fact that uh, our living quarters are full, and mostly because of the runs that we're using. I gotta fix that. How? I mean, obviously build more living spaces, but I don't think that's that much of a viable option. I need to think, I need to figure something out for that, but for now let's do the mutant pogrom and uh, die. But hey. Look on the bright side, at least, you know, uh, we're gonna be dying in style, right? Dancing Walker, you are gonna be driving the car, that's right. 
Vroom vroom, that's right. Enjoy. I can intercept it and I... Come on peasants, come on peasants. I know that you're terrible pilots, but I need somebody. I need somebody. And the scarab is gonna chase this thing. Even though I don't think the scarab can really catch up, can it? Nope, it can't. There's no point in sending it out. Or maybe, maybe if I can troll it a bit. I don't think trailing is gonna be an option though. Nope. Alright, well I tried. Barbados. Um, Barbados, you say? Didn't I buy more rounds in Barbados? I think I did. Fungus harvest. Some of the fungi that infest our hideout can be useful for something. We have harvested them. Excellent. I think we're gonna research that, right? Ooh, there we go. Hey! Wait, only one? That doesn't sound right. Um, I'm gonna try this one more time. So it went in this direction. Alright, well, let's send it back home then. That's right. Alright, Mutant Pogrom. Let's do this. I think it would actually be really handy to have a quicker craft to deal with the smaller ships. So we have something like one scarab and one air car, and um, we can use the air car to lure hunter killers towards us. Yeah, on the other hand, hunter killer. Uh, we're working on aerodynamics, followed by necro fighter assembly, and then all we need to do is get another tech, and then we can assemble our own hunter killers. All right, guys, necro program. Let's go. Most of these girls are ready to roll. Uh. What the fuck am I dealing with? What the fuck am I dealing with? I fought Redman before, and back then they had tanks, they did not have Reapers. Wait, no, that wasn't pure Redman. Uh, that was a, a mumble jumble of different things. Right, right, right. Oh shit. Okay. Well, I can't wait for them to blow up my car, but we'll see. That was Banditos. The Bandutas were actually pretty much a nightmare. Um, Reapers though. Oh boy, okay, so what's the plan? I actually need to formalize the strategy here if I want to finish this quickly. Um, so. We need to take the, the high walkways if possible. What's the best way to get on one of these walkways? God damn it. Is there no easier way? There is an easier way. Shit. Alright, so I might want to send some... Oh, hey! Hi there, big guy. Uh, we might actually want to send some people into this compound, make them go up on the walkways and start sweeping the walkways. Um... We gotta sweep this building. And we're gonna have to sweep this area right over here. 
Those are the main key points and I guess the car and some people can deal with whatever appears on the road. But the quicker we clear out the buildings, the quicker this mission is going to be over. And there you have it. Uh, the thing I was very worried about. They're actually shooting into the craft. That's not Redman. That's not Redman. Um. Um. I'd like a refund. I have Uber. Oh no. That is not rap, man. Help. Hey, you're standing in front of my door, you son of a bitch. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Um, I also know there's a few of them inside this building, which makes it a bit more unfortunate. Daka, daka, daka. Oh boy. Daka daka daka. Yeah, that's the sound I'd like to hear. Oh, and just like that we can spot two more of them. Yeah, oh my god, they have laser weapons. I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. Uh, I'm not sure either. But boy, they sure as hell love him. How am I gonna deal with that guy? I don't know. Yeah. Can I really make that angle? Oh my god, yes I can. Oh, I mean, gotta give it to the guy. At least he tried. Um, right. I do not feel particularly happy with the laser weapon presence, but, uh, hmm. I'll be honest, my loadout is having a lack of uh, grenades. I'm not proud about it. Just let the Lochnar handle it. Okay, so I have a lot of concerns at the moment. Um, let the Lochnar handle it, he said. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. I have a lot of concerns, ranging from laser weapons all the way to RPGs. Um, all the way to there are people with their backs exposed who can get shot from any direction, and I'm unsure where the enemy is. Uh, that's a lot of concerns, by the way. They fly. They... They... They fly. Seriously. No. No! No, no they can't fly. Get out of here. They cheating bastards. Again, laser weapons. Um, I'm sorry to say, but this mission is both my favorite grade, honestly. Stupid ass. Way above my pay grade. This is how people die, I'm just saying. Um. Right, I'm gonna take a moment to think. 
alright? Take a moment to think. If I want to eliminate him, I'm gonna need to land a very lucky shot that would leave Autumn Slaughter exposed. Alternatively, I have somebody else step out and take a shot at him. I guess Hardy Demon can try. But you know how it goes. Good luck trying. Uh, we're shooting him in the back, which will be quite nice. But it's only one singular shot. And now it didn't even come close. That's cool. Kind of what I was going for. If the truck explodes, everybody inside the craft dies. Um, I always forget that uh, that problem. Damn it. So close. It's a tough angle to make. It really is a tough angle to make. Alternatively, Autumn Slaughter will go down here and she will find another place to camp out at. I'm actually going to do something really stupid for a moment. Okay, this is a better safe spot. So, in that case, I will be able to make one more shot. Yeah, I will be able to make one more shot. But, it will have to be a quick burst. Uh, I don't think a quick burst is going to do it. It has to be an accurate shot, and even that's kind of 50-50. Alright, well, let's do it. What in the blooming shit? Pumasaurus? That's a Pumas... Okay. Okay, I've seen it all. I've seen it all. Alright, that's it. That's it. Oh my god, that's... No, 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 no. Please stop shooting me. Please stop shooting me. That's all I'm asking of you. Please stop. Oh dear god. Oh dear god. No. No, I don't like it. I hate it. It's gonna blow up my vessel, isn't it? Oh, oh fucker. Town is on fire. Eat it. Nothing I can do against it either. I mean, I guess there is something I could do against it, but good luck with that. This is a freaking Boomasaurus. Um, no. I'm a bit worried about Katana over here. Katana's gonna panic. Katana's gonna panic and die. My vessel is going to explode as well, I'm sure of it. Uh. Oh, it's, uh, what? How am I going to deal with the Bumasaurus? Well, I guess the answer is simple. I'm not. I'm not going to be able to deal with this. Um... Sars, who even makes this shit up? Hmm. I guess it was going too well, right? Boomsaurus. Why do people hate me? Oh, great. Ah. Oh.
Oh my god, this is war crimes. This is war crimes against mutant kind. You can't be serious. Uh, I regret everything. I thought the RPG was bad. Wait until you meet the fucking Boomasaurus. Ah, uh, he's putting the Boom and Boomasaurus as well. That's the worst part of all. Anybody who I want to move, uh, yes. Anybody who I dare to move, no, not really. People are gonna die. And I thought, I thought the Spartans were the worst of the mutant pogroms. I thought the Benditos was a hiccup. I thought the Reaper was bad. Fucking Boomasauruses. So what did I just learn? Lasers, 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 lasers. Yes, if only with RPG. Um, that guy's gone. That's okay with me. No, 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 no. Force that. Don't, don't think about. It. Don't do it. Uh, fuck me. Yeah, I sold off the Marshak guy. Thankfully. be good on so many levels. I, I... I don't know. I don't know anymore. I know that if I run away, he's just gonna bite me in my face. Pretty sure he has a melee attack and it's just like 500 biting damage. Oh there, there's my RPG friend. Um, now there's two over here, one over there, there's one over here. There was somebody up here, somebody up there. Somebody over there. Explodes as well? <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. I. I. No! Everything is on fire! <laughs> what are we supposed to save? Somebody please send help. I beg of you. I, I can't do it anymore. My heart. I swear to God. If there is a second Pumasaurus, I'm done, guys. You know, I'm just saying, I'm done. Like that guy. Right out of there. Okay, alright, 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 
the red. Next up, we're gonna extinguish the fire. Extinguishing the fire is our next priority. What the frick brings a Boomasaurus to a pipeline? <sighs> There's one way to exterminate the mutants, I suppose. Hello, I brought my pet Boomasaurus. I'm gonna put the boom in your, <laughs> your fucking refinery. Uh... Boomasaurus strikes again. Yeah, it's not the only one who strikes again. <sighs> Alright, that should take care of the most of it. Anyways, I have so much problems right now, it's actually pretty insane. Um, I'd love to go into this building, but this entire thing is on fire at this point. Uh, I could extinguish it, but... I think the saying goes, LOL, not my problem anymore, right? Uh, there's so much fire. I know there's a guy over here, I just can't see him and I hate it. Can't see anybody. I'm a bit worried about Chesty Patricia. Uh, she's incredibly exposed. Obviously the right thing to do is expose more people, right? Yeah, so that Marsha guy has been uh, causing me issues. And there is no reliable way for me to deal with him. Stuff is not on fire yet. I know there's one person inside this building. I know there's at least one or two hostiles inside this building. Uh, remember when I strategized, oh yeah, we're gonna clear this out and then we're gonna assault that, and before you know it, we're gonna be home. And those were the good times. I wanna go back to those good times. Those were good. I'm actually standing over here to stay as far away from these uh, pipelines as possible, but it's not gonna save my ass. Uh, anybody with any action points that I wanna use? No, no, I think we're gonna die here, so... Cool, let's roll with it. Let's roll with this. Are you okay, car? Car is ok ish. Is that. That's a power armor. Must be a power armor. Why the. What kind of shit show did I walk into? Okay, at least that evaporates a <laughs> fucking power armor. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Good start, good start, good hustle, guys. Good hustle. The fire seems to be mostly dying down. That's good. I don't know what happened to the guy that was floating over here, that's the one thing that really scares me at the moment. Where's the sleep? Boom, source of sleep. Um... Oh, okay. Oh. oh, he only has a snubby. Whew, thank god, that's easy. The hell back. So I could charge in here. Try to beat up whoever's inside, but if these pipelines explode around the time I'm dead. I think they have an explosion range of roughly about four tiles. One, two, three, four, five. So we should be uh, safe regardless. Um, Dancing Walker has done a very great job, but someone did lob a very high explosive grenade at me, which is something to keep in mind.
There's no way I'm going to be able to deal with them. Uh, let's see if we can go for the easy kill here. I don't think we'll be able to hit him, but let's go for saturating fire. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And I didn't even kill either of the two? Pfft. Explosion range of one, I tell you. You bastard. Alright, just Mr. Snubby over there. Okay. Please tell me I can hit him. God damn it, Matt. You know, you give her credit once and it goes to her head and all of a sudden she can't hit anymore. Uh, that is 211, so let's go for two snapshots in the back. Alright. That's the other guy. Okay. So he's KO, that's good. So if you back with us. That was a clear miss. Uh, fallen bitch is fine for now. I'm trying to figure out if there still is a way or an angle that I can actually get him at. And I don't think there is. I think I need to be happy the fact that I managed to... Uh, Kill this little fella and just move on. I'm a young Uber. I can get in his face, but I do not trust it. Alright, well, all I can hope for is that I'm actually safe over here. We'll see. I don't have a good feeling about this. I don't have a good feeling about this at all. I don't know, maybe I overextended there. Just a bit too aggressively. I just hope her head is low enough, we'll see. Um, yeah, this is not gonna go great, is it? Just gotta be careful that I do not become collateral damage of uh, somebody else's scheme. Uh, the possibility is definitely out there. Well, especially with these pipelines around. Okay, so the uh, the young Uber is going to die. There's no question about it. Um, both the brute and that young Uber is going to die as well against the pest control manager. And we did lose track of the guy that was flying around here. And the guy that was flying around there actually did die. Sweet. Fucking Boomasaurus. It's like ever since we're doing bulk rooms, every... Bulkroom has consecutively uh, been more terrifying than the last one. Nikki can take a nosedive next turn, and then we can start killing some other guys as well. Alright, but that's all next time. Right now we just hang a bit back, we stay safe, and hope nobody gets killed in the process. 
Oh man, I'm worried about the ultimate slaughter. I have a really bad feeling about that. I think I might have been pushing too aggressively. Uh, we know about two here. That's the third one. Um, anybody else? I do not think so. Let's see. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Alright, you okay there? You okay there? Uh, four stitches, ok ish. So, shooting over here, shooting over there. Um, we know about the guy that was shooting from here ish. And then there was the two over here. He went there. I might be able to ambush him, we'll see. And that stuff is still on fire. Can explode any any day now. Ah shit! Went down there. Come on. Okay. I do not wanna. I do not wanna nose dive into that part. But yeah. But done better. I do not know who actually shot me because I don't have visual on him. That is... that's nasty. That's really nasty. Unless this guy was flying all the way up top, which I highly doubt. I think he's in here. Um, mm -hmm. That being said, what is my next course of action? First of all, I need to hunt this guy down, which is going to be a bit difficult because I do believe he's still flying. He is not flying. Excellent. Alright, listen up, Marshak Operative. Knock, knock. A very bad knock knock joke, I know, because it knocked you right. Pulled out. Ah, whatever. Um, still there. That's the next guy that I want to go after. Well, let's make this quick, shall we? That's good. That's very good. Um... Damn it. I have another plan. That's like 200% worse. Uh, I don't want to think about it just yet. Knocking this guy out cold is going to be dangerous though. What a friendly fire potential. Oh, that is, you know, if we knew how to hit. Where did that one shot come from though? Uh, that hit me from the side here. That is what I'm curious about. Something hit me from this angle and I can't pinpoint what the hell it was. Might have been hiding in here, which I highly doubt. He might be hiding in here, which would make a lot more sense. Eki? Ekitana? Most definitely not. Hmm. It would make sense though, so I can shoot down the door and I will... Yeah, didn't see anything. Okay, well, it was a good try. Might also be on the top floor. How am I gonna push this forward? Uh, also, one guy is able. I do not know where he went. Like it. I think he might want to the second floor, he might be lingering around here, he might be lingering behind there. But we do know about this operative that definitely has to die. Anyways, I came up with the most suicidal plan ever, so... Uh, in advance? Yeah, this is, this is a terrible dumb idea. What do I 
don't have anything that's really that destructive, do I? Ah, bollocks. High priority target. Oh no. Oh no. Um, let's hope the pipes don't explode. <laughs> Shit. Actually, I think Dumb Better might die here, uh, as a side note. Uh, we're bleeding for one. I cannot take up the previous hiding spot that I did have, because I obviously got shot at from the weirdest angle possible. But that right there is a high uh, priority. The guild representative, I believe, is important. And she's about to die. The Bombasaurus, uh, be pretty cool to have him. Same with the Reaper. I should not count my chickens yet because we're not quite there yet. Killing him is going to be the real challenge. And he is pretty nasty. Uh, anything else for me to add to this other than help, help, help? I think so. Let's stick to safety for now. And don't die. That mention I want to drop down, didn't I? Hmm. Beautiful shot, mean look Milia. Ah! Glad to have you back on the team, I guess. I don't know what else to do here. Um, the car is gonna have to tank some shots, I'm very afraid of that. Considering the fact that Dancing Walker also already did take some damage, but, oh, well, that's all I can do about that part. Uh, because I know that he's going to be able to spot us, and I also know there's somebody either up here or down here, or maybe up there, but most likely here or there. Which means that I probably need to start making my way up the rampart soon enough. Uh, there's lots of problems to deal with, and I don't have an awful lot of time to figure it out, because uh, we are in serious trouble. This mission is going on for way too long though, so let's uh, see if we can uh, wrap it up. No way. Me taking a knee did save my ass apparently. Um, I can't believe it. That's that's fantastic. Uh, pest control manager, I would love to keep my hands on him. A grenade explodes there for no particular reason other than somebody might have spotted me. Um, if I were to check this out, I can notice that the gold representative is right there, but getting to her might actually be a bit more challenging than it seems. Because if I were to charge in here, I don't even have enough energy or stamina to pull that off. Thank you, but Alright, so just got hope that the guild representative knows how to hurry the hell up and actually uh, deal with me. Or uh, come towards me. But part of me actually suspects she's the one that threw the uh, incendiary grenade. Might have thrown the incendiary grenade, yeah. Okay, but as you can notice, it actually has become very quiet and calm, and I'm very happy about that. That is just what I needed uh, for all the madness to die down. So, all that we have to do now is hunt for the last few uh, remaining units, and I think I know exactly who they are and where they are. Uh, so we have the Marsha guy over here. We have the guild representative over there. That's all I currently know of. I don't think I can make that.
And then the question is, can I um, survive long enough? I don't think I can make that. I think opening the door will be too much for me. Alright, I do want to be uh, safe, so I guess we'll move somewhere else. And we'll see how the remainder plays out, I suppose. I can't believe I'm all out of energy again after I drank three freaking beers. Me and my stupid blitzing 24 7. Okay, me and Lubmilia. Nope. Okay, okay, I've seen him. I know where he is. And that's the end of the guild representative. Or not yet, question mark. Okay, uh, so he's somewhere over here. Either up here, down here, or down here. That's him. Alright, let's get him. Come on, Dancing Walker. Ah, she did it! Excellent! Okay. All that remains is the guild representative. Let's do this. She's right down here. Wait, no, there was more than that? Uh. Uh. Uh, shit, 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 shit. I know I need to pick up her corpse. I know that I need to pick up her corpse. Am I going to make that? Let's try it, let's try it. Yeah, 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 I'll make it, I'll make it. Uh, yeah, I'll make it, I'll make it, I'll make it. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Just about. Alright, as long as she doesn't die, we're going to be fine. Um, let's find the last stray guy about. I really do think that the last guy is um, hiding in one of these houses, but I can't prove it just yet. Okay, well obviously I stand correct that he's not hiding in one of those houses. And where the hell is he? Where the hell is everybody? I'm still convinced that if we're lucky and that young Uber survives and we can pick her up and uh, she makes it until the end of the mission, she is going to be alive as well. And she will join us, but... I feel like that's a very big misconception on my end. Wishful thinking, I think they call it. Fuck. Me. Alright. I was really hoping they only brought one freaking Boomasaurus. I think he's stuck. Um, I don't think we can reliably mortar him. I guess I could try. Yeah, I'm planning to nade him. But... Am I not in too well? I'm pretty sure the Pumasaurus is fire resistant as well now that I think about it. Hmm, oops. Well, the explosions hopefully will put a dent into him, even if it's a small one. Other than that, it's Nate City. 
Maybe I do got this try and mortar him. Maybe. Uh, that might be fun. Hang in there, young Uber. I might be able to save your life. There we go. That's right, smokescreen the guy. He's dead. What do you mean insignificant? We... Boomasaurus? We survived Boomasaurus? Ah, well we did it. Uh, we even got six hostages out of it. He's dirty booty. 15 bystanders were killed. I mean, it's a wonder five of them survived. <laughs> Barely any static increases, I'll take it. So, the really significant thing about this is we got lasers, 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 and more lasers. But most of all, what the fuck is a canister lancer? A uh, launcher. Looks good though. We got RPGs, Billy Pete's, Hilarium grenades. Combat Drugs, Glamour, Shack the Wheat, Reaper. That's right, we got a Reaper. Now, uh, all we have to do is go for Tamed Reapers and we'll have a little bit of fun, right? A Boomasaurus Carcass. Ah. Boomasaurus Meat, Lizard Hide, Scrap Metal. But most of all, uh, we got the Best Control Manager. Huh. Yeah, thought they were called differently. Yeah, see, we do get the young Ubers. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, we got two Marsh uh, operative and a guild representative. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Oh, and we got the Boomsaurus ourselves. Oh my god, look at that. Cindyary Rocket. Rocket launcher, optronic parts, scrap metal, but best of all, hopefully this allows us to have our own... Um... A Boozasaurus, ah, yeah. Hope we can deploy our own Boomasauruses, that'd be so cool. I'll gladly pay the stacks, thank you very much. No free animal cages, get out zombies, there's better guys in town. My god, 67k though. No more room in prison. Oh, let's make a bit of room, shall we? Oh my god, the killed representative is 144k? I think we just net the big fish. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's kick out ASR security guard. Alright, we have some young Ubers, which means I am definitely going to recruit them into my army. Street Fighter, Demon of Love, Angel of Death, Veteran Patient, Idol, Murder, Soft Target, Super Size, Ravenger. Huh. We don't actually gain any accommodation for mass murdering a Boomasaurus. Alright. Wow, that, that was terrifying. That was legitimately terrifying. Okay, um, that being said, we have some young Ubers. Yeah, so, um, here's the problem, here's the problem. We're kind of low on available living spaces. <sighs> Sorry, we're kind of low on available living spaces, which is very frustrating. Yeah, it's mostly because we currently have 75 runs. And I'm not entirely certain what the next logical step will be to remedy it. So I can build a large quarter in our main base, which... Well, there's not a lot of available places. Would limit my uh, building availabilities quite significantly as well. 
I could set one up and weed them, but I don't even know what I was going to do with this 2x2. Two two. But the downside is, if I set up an additional living spaces and weed them, then some of the people who will, who will be hurt uh, won't recover as quickly because it doesn't have a sick bay. It only has an onsen, it doesn't even have a dojo. Not that dojos help with recovery. And I think we have an onsen because it counts as... A culture building. Ah! Not only improves the recovery rate of everyone in the hideout by 0.5 of their max health daily and refreshment rate to 9, but also serves as a cultural center. Um, yeah. But Onsen is important. If we had a sick bay here as well, we could have a recrec uh, recreational center. That uh, would have been a lot better, wouldn't it? Alternatively, I can also set up a onsen, sick bay, large headquarters, and maybe two prison cells in another place as well. But why would I do that? I actually now need to start thinking about this because um, we have four young Ubers. Also, we could spy on the ninjas, but currently I have two Ubers, who, uh, young Ubers who are doing that, and I don't think I want to stack any more people. Let's be fair. So these four, your, uh, these four young Ubers should be recruited. There you go. The speech is difficult. But how am I going to do that? Also need slave warriors. What's the main problem? I think the main problem is just when it comes to... Let's go to logs. Why recruit them? I guess I can ransom them, but it feels a bit wasteful. I can also make them work, which feels a bit wasteful. And I do know that when it comes to or Actually, it's not too bad. But when it comes to most of our soldiers, uh, just exclude the peasants here. Uh, most of them are beaten up most of the time. So having some more girls around should ease up on the roster a bit. Uh, speak about that. No, not the peasants. Hell no, not the peasants. Aren't they just like hired hands? I think castaway girls are like hired hands. Uh, young Ubers are better. No, they're just like hands. You're right. Like hands. And what are castaway girls like? A lunatic. So castaway girls are better than young Ubers? Huh. Alright. That's cool. Alright, I guess we're going to turn them into workers in that case. Because honestly, there's not much else I can do in that case. Just turn them into workers. Oh, I know. But what else can I do with them at this point? Don't have the capacity anywhere. I really hate it because I would love to recruit them, but we're so stretched on our living quarters. Alright, let's think this through. So, why would I. Workers have a 5k maintenance, what do workers do, anyways? What do workers do anyways? Um, uh, worker? No. Are 
cargo space. Wait, isn't that what slaves are for? Okay, I give up. Builder's Hall or something like that. We don't even have a Builder's Hall. I think it's because... Oh. Ah. Alright, let's see. Um, pa 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 pa, that probably falls under mysteries. No, it falls under Captain's Log. Yes. Uh, external work can also help us with storage for each hired worker expense or storage space before, but it takes 5k dollar dollaros in monthly pay. However, they deliver an instantaneous storage capacity boost without the need to wait for faults to be built. Builders can also help us to acquire some of the landlubbers we catch to do some honest work. If you have such fancy captain, the boom will experience. The boom will be experience sharing. Job interviews are titled to work under workshop recruitment tab. Yes, we will have to pay them once their trial period ends. Okay. All right. It's 5k. Expense or storage space by four. Um. Okay, so what I'm trying to kind of like figure out here is we have five spaces available we're going to remove an extractor eventually i wish i could turn the normal prison cells into large prison cells but that is kind of pointless slash senseless at this point i feel like the prison part needs to be off shipped somewhere else so we ship the prisoners and some of the grunts away But I am getting way ahead of myself on that part. That isn't even close to being uh, doable. So currently I just have a lack of space and I do not want to ship any of our grunts away. We'll make them work. We'll make them work. And the problem is I just don't have enough gals. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll make them work. That's okay. They're just hands. Just hands. That must be a necroplane. You'll understand. At least they're getting paid, right? That's the important part. Uh, so since this is going to be a small mission, I do want to bring a few people with me. It's not going to be any of these peasants. Hell no. It's going to be some Lognars, some gals. And that's that. Six people. Alright, no, no, not Fallen Bitch. Fallen Bitch is actually quite exhausted. And so is Gaping Skeleton. Alright, this is how we'll do it. Um, make sure they all have decent armor. It's gonna be a night mission, so let's take up, uh, use some night obscure. And Heart Demon can walk around in uh, actual chainmail armor. Without much further ado, let's do this. It's really difficult because I do know that more gals, we will benefit severely from that because it allows me to spread out some more of my uh, mission types. So the gals who are currently quite exhausted don't have to feel that exhausted. But, you know, um, if I really need gals, it's better to pick up warriors because they will be a bit pre-trained. There we go. About the same. Uh, they'll be pre-trained, and on top of that, uh, we don't have the, the current capacity living quarters, so I would have to build more living quarters. I really hope I'm not making a mistake here. 
Sí. Sí. But yeah, it just, I don't know, it's rubbing me uh, a bit wrong. It's rubbing me the wrong way, sadly. But like, I don't know, I feel like we could do better. That's the important part. I feel like we can do better. Just I don't see how. <laughs> I don't see how. Ah, oh, yeah, you're right. We did not bring a single medkit. Dear God, I'm an idiot. I might actually pull out. I might actually pull out in that case. Uh, not yet, not yet, but I'll do it with caution. I'll do this entire mission with caution. I did not notice the fact that we are lacking medkits. That's very embarrassing. That's the problem. Um, this craft is undersupplied. I was aware of that. I just didn't realize it was this undersupplied. At least we have a battle wax. If I had to guess, um, we are all over the map. No, we're at the bottom side of the map, right? If I had to guess, we're going to be fighting necro pirates. Which makes this even more highly dangerous, but we'll see. And there can be doggos running about, that's my biggest concern at the moment. Shit. That is way too close to the craft. What will be the perfect strategy here? How are your reactions? Not great. So I can pop the smoke. I can pop a smoke screen. But it will limit my visibility. Or I can not po uh, pop a smoke screen. And the next thing that's going to happen. A dog will blitz me. I'm not going to pop a smoke screen just yet. Oh yeah, there you go. Little triangle if you right click on the weapon. Okay. I might actually very well just leave. That's why. I think I just simply lack the firepower to pull through. Ah shit, it did hit her. Damn it, I was hoping it won't hit her. I should have started with that. Oh, I fucked this up. Okay, well... No going back now, right? Shit. We'll finish this later. And there you have it. That's exactly what I was afraid that might happen. God damn it. That pisses me off so much. 
God damn it. See, this is this is the problem. This right here is the problem why I can't just run the skeleton crew against necro pirates. The bloodhounds are the, the main issue. Fuck me. Forget all about it. Yeah, he has a blunderbuss. I know how that's gonna end. He's just gonna turn around and shoot me in my face. Um... No, 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 no. I can't do this. I just can't. Like, the problem is the dog can be hiding right over here. And I can't loop all the way out here to check this angle and then loop all the way back. It's just... Not feasible. So catching up on the VODs, but did you ever realize that when you copy the use folder, you copy the old mod version on top of the new mod version? Did I? Because I just assumed that the user version is just simple save files. It's actually possible that I did that the first time around uh, without me realizing it. And I was like, ah, oh, shit. And afterwards I only copied the save files. It has the mod there, really? Huh, never noticed that. I keep an eye out on it. I think I did it right the second time around. At least it didn't throw me any errors. I assumed the errors came from me uh, improperly copying it. Oh boy. I am fucking this mission up, aren't I? It's good that you uh, pointed out, though, Vaughn. Appreciate it. You're so dead. You're so bloody damn dead. Like, this is the other reason why I didn't want to pop smoke. Alright, yeah, I see how this is gonna end. Fuck. Ah, shit. If you shoot an enemy, he will know your position. If he's a spotter, he can tell the others. If sniper, he can also retaliate himself. Oh fuck! There's spotters in the game, really? Um, yeah, no. This I'm gonna I'm gonna board right on out there. Um, I made a mistake. I made a mistake coming here. Big mistake. Oh, come on! What do you mean you... <laughs> oh, thanks, game. Yeah, how do you like getting shotgun, you bastard? Uh, if I had to do that... Ninjas use this a lot. Ah, that explains an awful lot. That explains an awful lot. Yeah, whatever. Gonna go back to the photo. Alright, enjoy. <laughs> if there's anything to enjoy. But yeah, thanks for stopping by. I'm actually glad I went on the offensive there. Gotta watch out for the doggo. Night vision of 12. Oh. 
this double tabbing, I swear. Whoa! Oh, bollocks, okay. Well, one one problem at a time, right? One problem at a time. There we go, told ya. Just gonna have to beware the uh, Doggo Man, that's all. Ah, oh, thank god, okay. This is insane, I should not be doing necro ships with the cr uh, skeleton crew. Let alone when half of them are Loknars. Used to be. Half of them used to be Loknars. I don't even know who exactly died, I just know it's a very big loss. Thank meme survived though. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a big mistake. At least we hit Doggo. Uh, he's not bleeding, sadly. Here's where it becomes really difficult. So I can either blitz both of them and have to deal with both of them, or I can stand back and wait. And I'm gonna stand back and wait. I currently have some time in the road, not all the time. But tick tock, tick tock, we are on a clock. My time is slowly but surely running out. Boy, I do love saying that, don't I? Doggo is down, I repeat, Doggo is down. Ah, oh, goddammit, and there is a second Doggo, really? Oi, you can't punch me back. Okay. Oh, if there's a second doggo, uh, I'm gonna have to take care of a second doggo as well. I don't like this. I don't like this one tiny bit. Um, don't have enough people to uh, reliably do this. Alright, so it looks like there's just two of them left. Oh, well, actually three. Gonna figure out where the last doggo went. And once we figure out where the last doggo went, we're done. Oh boy, she's completely out of energy. Where did the last doggo go? Where did you go, doggo? Knew it. I freaking knew that there was not just one doggo about. So why doesn't she have a beer? Probably because I don't actually have access to beer. Shit, 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 shit. And we back up again. Might actually be too late. Oh, guys, there's one enemy left. Oh, wait, hold on. There's one more enemy left. Oh, hold on. Now there's only one enemy left. Becoming a bit of a repeat, repeat scenario. Keep repeating myself. Of course, there's still the case of Doggo. 
Okay, okay, okay. Now we're in deep shit. Now we're in deep shit. On oh, my need is for you to strike through. Got him. Okay, all we gotta do is kill Doggo. Where's Doggo? Come on, Doggo. Where the hell are you at? All I need is Doggo. Where the hell is Doggo? Ah, shit. Don't go, don't go. This might be it. Alright, Doko, come for me. We're gonna blitz him. All over might, we're gonna blitz him. I know that Heart Demon is about to pass out. Alright, we're never doing this again. We're never doing a necro ship with a skeleton crew ever. Huh. It's kind of funny if you think about it. Wait, th there is more? No, 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 no. There can't be more. Ah, uh, fuck. Ah, uh, please. Please make it stop. Please make it stop. Is that's all I'm asking for you. Make it stop. I don't want to go on like this. No more. No more, please. Oh, thank God. Okay, well, that was awful. Um, I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson the hard way. The very hard way. Yeah, we lost two rookies. That's okay. I mean, it's not okay, but that's okay. Yeah, that was that was a mistake. I thought we'd be fine with six people. Um, maybe if it was six gals, but half of them were Lochnars. And now I could have recruited the Zubers. Ah, oh well. Oh well. Uh, we have 25mm rounds. Yeah, this is actually becoming more and more problematic. Help the Lognars. God damn it. Really? Okay. Um. Yeah, so this is becoming more and more problematic. Everybody is missing 25mm rounds and it's driving me mental. I know that I tend to scream at the game so often. Please forgive me. I'll be nice. Of all these missions. I like how we had a very calm period and now everything's picking back up again. Alright, so this shouldn't be too, diff too difficult. Um, Arcticus Silverhand. Uh, How's everybody's freshness or unfreshness looking? Pretty bad, okay. We're using spaces of then. Alright. So I think we're gonna be running yet another skeleton crew, but this time around I have a big plan. I was told that if you toggle your craft weapon off before they return, they will not reload the weapons. That's correct. If I understand correctly, um, you can even toggle it off while looking at your craft itself. Um, hold on, let me just quickly go through all of this. It shows something pretty cool. 
but should stop them from consuming a X50 box. I just assumed that an X50 box uh, actually was 50 ammunition, but I didn't know they consumed it for just one shot, which would exactly explain what happened with all my freaking bullets. Uh, in which case, I don't need to show anything. You know it better than I do. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's see. We have 50 bravery, 98. You only use entire magazines in this game. Son of a gun. So angry right now. God damn, look at that. Alright, well... Yeah, so I can also toggle it off here and it won't reload it altogether. I really should be toggling this off unless I really need it. Um, yes, matter of fact, it will consolidate magazines, um, usables and everything. I think one of the tips I even said that. Which is fantastic, I love that. It's great. Pretty great. Punk SS. Oh, <gasps> Seder. I'm talking about craft weapons. No, I think craft weapons actually do consume entire magazines. If I understood correctly. Well, which would make a lot of sense. Alright, so, Kusumi. Guess what? That's right. Kusumi is gonna go vroom vroom in the car. Haha. <laughs> So yeah, we are actually going to be running a skeleton crew here. This is, this is so weird, this is going to be incredibly weird. I really should have two cars. One with a recoilless rifle, one with an MG. So in this case I could take a car with an MG with me. Oh, I can even leave Mean Ludmilla and Fiery Hunter back home. Double MG. I mean, what else am I talking about? Just a lame single heavy machine gun? Who cares about that, right? Ah, uh, bollocks. This is the dumbest thing I've done in quite a while. Yeah, as you can notice, we are burning through ammunition like crazy. That's the dumbest thing I've done in quite a while. Look at this crusader armor. Look at this crusader armor! Alright, do his vault. Just... God, it's pretty heavy. Pretty <laughs> melee. Can you look at Voodoo after this mission? Uh, who's Voodoo? Oh, everybody's Voodoo? Yeah, I guess I can. Alright, Bastilla. And Isdar. Okay. I want Isdar to actually use a more accurate long range rifle gun. I was thinking maybe the sniper rifle? can carry it? I don't think he can carry it. He can carry it. Oh my god, the sniper rifle. A sniper rifling Loknar. Interesting. God, look at the moustache. Ah, uh, perfect. Alright, here we go. This is the dumbest thing I've done in quite a while. Oh my god, this is the dumbest thing I've done in a very long while. And if she needs to jump off the floor, she can just point down. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure the snapper rifle is larger than she is.
All right. Dinner is served. Oh, so close to a triple kill. Oh no, you don't. We're still at gather. Uh, we're still at gather. Yeah, that's right. Where's your god now? So I can see three of them. Oh jeez, snapshot is actually very expensive. Uh I don't even know how much armor this is. Um I don't wanna find out either. <laughs> Alright. Guess we're gonna find out. It's probably like twenty-five armor, if I had to guess. Which means that these guns are actually highly dangerous. There is Volt. No. Oh shit, there's four of them. I don't know, there's something terrifying about... Uh... It should say armor, not just damage modifiers. It's, it's sadly not saying anything at all. Because I have no idea what the Crusader uh, is all about. Alright, well I changed my mind. It was nice to use the sniper rifle, but we're not even going to be able to get a stats page. I... Yeah. 40. <gasps> oh my god. That is better than I expected. <laughs> I mean, he's still going to die, let's be fair. He has 46 HP and they're just going to shoot him three times and he's dead. What else is that in the background? Xenomorphs in compromising positions? Well, it's make love, not war. Do you not believe in the power of love? It's pointed. Yeah. Did all look nurse just die? Alright, well, one shot, one kill. <sighs> oh, what fun while we had our slave units for one turn. That was 40 armor, single shot. That's alright. Power of slaves, right? Um... Again, that's actually pretty terrifying. I think what showed us was a boarding gun. It just high rolled. Very high rolled. Uh, can it? Yeah, it can. Yeah, it can. So close, Estar. So close. And that's that. <laughs> oh, he's come, he's go. Yeah, he was expendable. That's the only reason why he was even there to begin with. Oh, we got the back, but damaged. Take it. I'll take it. Glamour, Jepetches. Yeah, so I knew that we could run this with the skeleton crew because the car's overpowered. The car's overpowered does all hell. But there's always the danger that they're just simply gonna get through the armor and take a few shots and blow it up. So, and just simply send in the car and hope for the best. Uh, we're gonna have to produce some LMG SMG clips. Linux. Linux. <laughs> Now that, I do believe, despite the fact that we had a death, is what you call a good mission. Oh shoot.
I know I'm a hipster. I schooled killer. What for two kills in a single turn? That's right, Kasumi. I schooled. <laughs> Kill zero. Uh, that's good. Now I'm kind of curious, should I get another slave? I mean, we've only seen a little bit of it, so I guess we should recruit an additional slave soldier. I just gotta be careful not to use too many of them. Assassination attempt! A Sky Ninja infiltrated the hideout in an attempt on your life. Your cows, however, are always ready for trouble and they manage to find the bitch and knock her out cold. ka -ching, right? ka -ching. Oh, fuck. Alright, so here we go. Uh, peeps, they hit peeps again, this time during night time. Um, I would love to do this mission. Uh, we have up to 8 hours, and since it just became night, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be night. Uh, the mission is gone before it becomes daytime. It's gonna just be a night only type of mission. Now, we are sadly a little tiny bit hurt. Don't know if we can do this mission. So I think I'm just gonna let it pass. Yeah, I think I'm gonna let it pass. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. We have ten gals. And most of them are actually fresh, like Nikki. Nikki really needs these seven days off. It's the problem, we have too many people who are wounded. But there are still ways to go about it. A, I don't do the mission. Or B, I do the mission, I pick a few of them off, and then we get the hell out of Dodge. But I think we take a bigger penalty hit from it, so uh, we're gonna skip it. We're gonna skip it. In the meantime, I can actually go to my vessel. Here we go, the Bonaventura, thank you very much. And we are gonna load up some peasants. Yeah, peasants, woohoo. This reminds me of the Long War Fatigue Spiral, yes. Same here. Definitely resonates with me quite aggressively. Because I doesn't recruit enough. Oh, what? <sighs> I want to recruit, okay? I would love to recruit, but we're at max capacity. <coughs> we don't mention that, Knuckle. We will not mention that. Nobody's talking about, he's crazy. The old man has lost it. We don't have any additional tech vests, do we? Hmm. Okay. Um. Careful about peasant expensive armor. Ah, it's just a tech vest. <laughs> Easy, right? Alright, so I actually, for once, um, deep in my gut, let's get like five additional tech vests. Yes, yeah, sure. I actually would love to build additional barracks. I think I should commit to that. But where? Is it also a smart idea? That's what I'm thinking, Knuckle. That's exactly what I'm thinking. A holiday resort. Basically an onsen, a dojo, a sick bay, and a large quarter. And voodoo. Yes. Voodoo. 
And I should do it in one of my interception bases. And that interception base should also be responsible for expeditions. So it's like a double-edged uh, knife that I can wield. Wait, no, hold on. Show me your voodoo power. Ah, uh. uh, that's gonna suck, isn't it? Uh. Adventure Island is your only place with Brainer. Yeah, that's not a problem. There are more tech buildings. I think 60 is the max for gals. Oh. Well, way to go, blunt on the hoop. <laughs> Must have gotten it from somewhere. Oh. Alright. Well. Got a bunch from comms. <laughs> Mended? That's not what COM stands for. Wait, what does COM stand for? Oh, these aren't sorted, okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Or just any com uh, commendations, I suppose. Uh, summary, summary, summary. Eight. Yeah. Max freshness minus two, visibility at night two. Cool. Very cool. Ah, but their vo voodoo power is overflowing with 9 because of the warrior outfit. Yeah, whatever. Um. Okay. So. First of all, I want to build, we're building one library, we're going to get another library, which is like our third library, then we're going to move to probably one of the other... No, I don't think Warrior gives Voodoo powers, I think I'm wrong about it, and she actually has 61. So, I know that there is one more interception base, two actually, one over Australia and one over Africa, then we have global coverage, that's two hideouts, and that leaves us with one hideout, which I find very frustrating, because that means that if I want the research center, it needs to be either one of these interception bases, unless I will eventually transform some interception bases in more dedicated bases, whenever we have better global coverage. Uh, but for now, I think this base over here can have all the stuff we need to have a holiday resort, which I guess is also going to run convoys, don't worry about it. Yeah, you only get libraries for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to stack libraries on some of these interception bases. But Brainers do take up... Brainers do take up... Um... Living spaces. Eh, I mean, I don't have to worry about it yet. Yeah, it's like three Brainers per base. That's not too bad until, you know... Um... You realize that this only gives us like what 10 people reduce it to seven yeah i can just kick out some of the the native defenders that we have like we have a bunch of peasants and i can just simply whoop kick them out okay so let's set up a holiday resort at least i think this works pretty well three million for the li no three point two million for the libraries Big difference. Alright, how about I actually do this thing that um, I've been postponing for a very, very long time. Um, let's start liquidating. Oh shit, speak about liquidating. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh boy.
Alright, there we go. Uh, so, what was the plan? Right, liquidating. Big, big liquidating. How far are you from surgery room? It's, hmm, I know, I know exactly how far we are, but I forgot. I looked at it. It's, I think, advanced medkits, um, it's surgery units. Uh, which required we also need back to school but yeah we're close we're really close to the surgery room that's one of the things that stood out to me um yeah so liquidating i was serious about it um i want to get if i can roughly about ooh, how much how much i would love to get like 1.5 million check check Check, girl guides can stay, those things can stay. Advanced surgery is a big upgrade. Um, surgery kit is one of the other things, I think. Oh, we gotta check that out. So spider silk probably is used for a whole bunch of things, but I'm gonna sell some of it. Well, actually, no, that's that's pointless. There's no reason for me to sell it. Luxury fur, cabbage sacks, red caps. Which I need for mushroom medicine, which gives me medical supplies. Sector wheat, bananas, coconuts, medical supplies, consumer goods. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is where a chunk of my uh, cash currently is. You have two stasis spots. Plasma blunderbuss. Okay. That's cool. What about raw resources? Maybe maybe I could sell some of this stuff. Uh, I'd rather not touch it because I find it very important to keep it. Corpses I'm not going to touch. Monsters I am not going to touch. People I'm not going to touch. Treasure. Treasure is something I might want to touch, but we don't really have much of it. I can easily get rid of some of my money purses, if not all of them, which is 1.2 million. ka -ching. A forgery, back to school, and optronic computing. Um, anything else? Stone Age. I also want to sell some weapons if I can. And this is the most boring stream ever, isn't it? Damn, I'm really not accomplishing anything. <laughs> uh, giant bones can go wait can it yeah ball bed can go holy club can't because i haven't researched it yet shadow realm can stay baron roads can stay well i say that but uh let's see jewelry combat rocks what do i need for combat rocks Oh, just a lot of time. Eh. Master Scan, Mind Probe, Wand of Firebolt, Fusion Torch, Electro Flares, Magna Lights. I want to get rid of the Magna Lights. The, the one thing I... Like, I thought Magna Lights... Oh, this is the thing that breaks. I thought Magna Lights were pretty cool, but then I realized that this thing is always on and actually gives my position away and gets me killed. Millipedes is fine. Hilarium Grenades. Um... Yeah, I do see repeats, and that's okay. I don't mind. I rather see repeats than not enough items. Uh, you old toying poster, we have to research. I do kind of want to ditch the RPG, but we did recently get DP. Which stands for double pain. Wait, is DP the shitty ammo? DP is the shitty ammo. Eh. I don't even know if I'm ever going to be using RPGs. I guess I am, eventually. Uh, for now, we'll keep it around, just in case I decide to, to change my mind. Uh, we keep the cannonballs, so I'm not going to sell them. Cannon launcher, we don't know anything about it, but it must be pretty cool. Light cannon, UAC chain gun, we can get rid of one of the two, uh, one of the three. Keep the Spitfire, keep the... Well, we can sell some assault machine guns. I don't think I want to use the Dagoon rifle, it's pretty powerful, but I don't see myself using it. Proceeds to ignore it. Yay. Ah, we can kick out the home front rifle with the banana clips. Just wanted to let you know. Yeah, thanks for that. 
I know I can quite easily lose my nerve, lose my mind, go crazy. Why are these items showing up in here? I don't get it. That actually does sound a lot like me. Hmm. <laughs> uh, we'll keep some of the street sweepers around. Combat shotgun can go though. The third shotguns I keep. Okay. Yeah, I think this is good. It's 1.4 million. It's not fantastic, but it will have to do for now. Alright, that being said, um, I want to start by building, uh, let's see, expand a large crew quarters. Done. Then afterwards we're going to be building an onsen down here, which means that we also got to transport some secto wheat. I probably might actually need a proper place to stash items, but we'll see. Don't worry guys, I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, there we go. Chip 50 over. Okay, anything else? Mm -hmm. I would have loved to also build a library. I'm not gonna lie, I would have liked to build a library. So let's fence small ship engines, period. I'm kind of hanging on to these in case I can disassemble them for the Hilarion plus steel and superconductive wire. Uh, do we have a minimum garrison there? Yes, I do. I say very confidently without checking. Uh, let me just double check. Ah, oh, come on, you bastards. That's a workshop. Doesn't make sense to kick out the uh, extractor. Twenty workshop space. Mm. That's for now. Hold it on the empty spot. <laughs> Done. All right. So. We have a bunch of Swabian peasants, and we have 20 attack doggos. So yeah, we do have a minimum garrison there. Uh, the only one that didn't have a minimum garrison was Crystal Cavern, and I think I rectified that as well. Uh, so all is looking well and healthy at the moment. Alright. Peeps rate is not gonna happen. No escape. Hey, here's a fun question. It does not say anything about armor restrictions, does it? So the real question is, how crazy can we go? <laughs> uh. Trust mutants. Do they trust Lognars? I wonder if they trust Lognars. That means deep ones. Uh. No, that just means lots of enemies, right? I wonder if they uh, actually allow in Loknars. Interesting question. Might be peasant only. Yeah, I thought it was peasant only, but they just say mutants. I don't know if Loknars count as mutants. I think they count as mutants, but... We'll see. Firing of 37, bravery of 40. 74, 60. Alright, I think I found my gal. Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. 
All right. So let's just check it out real quick. I do want everybody to walk around in tech armors. Will be nice. And let's not do it during night time, that's insane. Oh. Ah, it's too fast for us. Left the trail for a while. Alright, we'll let it pass by. It's too quick. Don't have resources to produce spy on ninjas. Aww. Damn, we lost our Uber again. That's unfortunate. I must say, uh, we've done spy on ninjas four times. And half the times we've lost the Uber. One time we haven't gained. Well, five times. One time we gained a ninja roll, one time we have gained just the uber back, and ninja roll, spy hunters, and two times we actually lost our, uh, our gal. That is like 40% loss instead of like the 20 something percent. It's unfortunate. Uh, the message that I'm trying to convey here is damn RNG. Why do we have to be like this? Humanist leader, while the lower ranks can claim that they're only following orders, these are the guys who give set orders. They're very well trained to combat the fanatical and their devotion to the racial purity ideology. Thankfully, their fancy black uniforms have no protection value whatsoever and looks much, uh, looks much better when sprayed in blood anyways. 151, running out of storage space is no... Running out of storage space is no a question of... If... But when? But how to avoid being overwhelmed by chaos? Answer is sorting. When fencing, use hotkeys while selecting something from a combo box on the top left. Control by total size, shift control by unit size, alt by total value, and shift alt by unit value. Huh. That's cool. Weird sentence though. Running out of search space is a no question. No a question. I suppose this is not a question of when, but a question of if. Wait, hold on. Origins of Dr. X. Shit, I can't even research that. I have other things I could uh, attend to. Um, I think we rolled max days on the girl guide. That's unfortunate. Ah, the gun on me, the cacao! <gasps> oh my god, that's armor piercing, that's amazing. Ah, it's just 50 piercing, it doesn't actually ignore armor. Hmm. Alright, an advanced firearm that can fire two kinds of powerful charges, but the magazine holds only 10 rounds. It has a better range than normal shotguns, it can be. Wield it single-handedly with lessened accuracy, uh, accuracy penalty. <laughs> well, that's cool. Yeah, there you go. The raid disappeared before it became daytime, just as expected. Alright, well, I was kind of hoping that my armors would have arrived by now. I guess I can wait a few more hours. But I can only wait so long. I think I'm out of uh, patience and time. Redman Rodeo, okay. Wait. The Redman Village. Let's do this. I think now's a good time for you to tell you about an exploit. Oh boy. Wait, hold on. That doesn't sound very great. Some missions don't disappear if you have a vessel targeting it. Hey. Oh, that's cool. I actually didn't even know that. 
Wait. My brain is telling me that I did know that. Ah, <laughs> okay. Keyword is some. Ah, alright. Important keyword. Oh my god, you can't be serious, really. <laughs> uh, time to kick ass. You cannot cheese book rooms. Uh. You cannot simply cheese a Boomasaurus. No matter how much I want to cheese it, you can't. Boomasaurus will cheese you. God damn it. Wait, what? Oh, that's where the clips are. Okay. Um. Wait, what? Huh. That's good to know. I need people with extra shots as well soon enough. Why am I giving Hilarium charms to humans? Greta. You know what to do, Greta. You know what to do. Oh, that happened quickly. God damn it. I sometimes my peasant would have done a lot better there. Yeah, this is the part where I wish we had a card with an MG. Alright, well, she'll be fine for now. There we go. We'll tend to her soon enough. There we go. Man, that laugh is creepy. Alright, keep up the good work, guys. Keep up the good work. Uh, gals. Keep up the good work. Those are aim shots as well, that's the worst part of all. I did not imagine her to be that inaccurate, but well, what do you know? 
What do I know? <gasps> Whoa, trash! Trash is on fire. Can't wait for it to die now. No enough energy. Wait, what? Alright, somebody will tend to her. Don't worry about it. Somebody will tend to her. Alright, so these missions aren't very fun, as long as I have crappy armor, but we'll see. It'd be nice if our RPGs actually did hit their targets. But I think we're almost done here, by the looks of it. Alright, come on. Twelve time is the charm. <laughs> right between his legs. Ah, shit. Alright, you girls know what to do, right? I think there's a burst movement right over here. Maybe I'm wrong. Eh, kinda. Kinda ain't. Alright, welcome back Zoe Stillman. Don't die on me now, still need ya. Same for you, Trish. Don't die on me. So, he's within melee range. We'll see how that goes. And there's two in the back that we got to deal with. But other than that, that should roughly be about it. Just wish my vehicle was doing a bit of a better job there. It's, it's insane because Artia... Arturia, um, she's actually the best one out of all of these girls. I actually thought she would be doing a lot better in her vehicle. Like, even with aim shots, it just doesn't hit. It's it's ridiculous. Hey, there we go. Only took four shots. I'm not going to go for a reload, so um, if she can't finish it off with that last magazine, that's that. That's that for her. I'm ok with that. There, yeah, at least Greta's pulling through. That's nice. Right there, Stillman, walk it all. Alright, let's get closer to the little bastard. I like how the vehicle sound just in amazingly makes the entire game just quiet. Okay. Let's try this one more time, shall we? There we go, third time's the charm. Alright, 4 were killed, 14 survived. Now that is significant. Nice that increases, by the way. Too bad the bird and still we missed out on the action, but I'll take it. Alright, orange. We get some oranges. And a genius Loki, whatever that is. I really should activate it. I really should research it. No idea what an activated one does. We now have two, so yeah, it might be worth researching. But then again, uh, we need more brainers. <laughs> Alright, it's gonna complain that we don't have enough prison spaces. Now, keep in mind, we just backed 14 people. Um, 
They're only really good for slaves or pimping. Kind of looking towards slaves. And bigger S is better, I suppose. So this slave, the regular slave is better than a slave mate. Uh, but we could pimp out the shelter cool if we actually had pimpcraft. So one of these days we should be working on pimpcraft. I'll take it. Sister of Mercy, a word of raising unconscious people regardless of reason. Sleeping Beauty, well done guys, well done. Pimping is rather intensive on prisoner space, so get a big prison going before that. Oh boy, did somebody say big prison? Because I'm all for it. <laughs> Alright, what are we dealing with? Large scout. Interesting. Um. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. a bit closer than I'd like, but we did it regardless. Right, let's look towards work. who we're gonna be bringing today. It would obviously have to be Gels, let's be fair. I am totally gonna be over deploying for this though if I'm not careful. So let's sh uh, sort by freshness. We kick these people out. Thanks for the night show. Alright, thank you uh, for stopping by there, Archeon. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one. I don't think there's much to miss out on. This be so dull. <laughs> uh, well, at least I'm not uh, losing my mind, so that's important. And speaking about losing my mind, where the hell is my um, tech fests? Alright, Pamela, 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 you're gonna get the hunter stuff. Arturia is gonna be getting the tech fest. They're actually gonna give the armored car to. Boo, 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 boo. Oh, who are we gonna give the armored car to? Um, let's give the armored car to Kasumi. I think Kasumi was doing a pretty good job here. Or we can actually have Ister drive around in it. His bravery could be better, but yeah, sure. Ister can have a fun time. So, what will I need? What would I need? If I want to build another car chassis. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's go. Haha. <laughs> Haha. 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 Alright, that's gonna take a while. Oh boy, imagine driving around with two cars. We have one for MGs, one for a coilless rifle. We will literally be unstoppable until they deploy tanks, that is. Until then, we'll be unstoppable. Alright. Uh, you're almost fine. Let's give you a big, nice, juicy med kit. Bandit kit I meant. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, I meant to uh, have her walk around in the uh, night ops, obviously. It improves her reactions, right? 
Fiery Hunter can remain in the back in that case. I'll give her a sniper rifle. We can uh, play around a bit with the sniper rifle. I think I should be using more sniper rifles during that time. Um, I, I would love to pull up an example of the XCOM files where we were doing our first downed uh, landed medium UFO. Or did we down it? I can't remember. Either way, I remember like a crap ton of mutants would, would just evaporate us with their plasma and then somebody in the back just kept snipering. That was so damn good. That was so damn good. And that was a blast, wasn't it? <laughs> ah, reminiscing about better times. Greta's fine. Artia's fine. Bastilla's fine. Oh my god, I just realized that these are the only two gals I have. And they're gonna be snipers. Um, guess we're not gonna be capping today. I can guarantee you, black and white, that's gonna be the enemy we're dealing with. Alright. I told you this would happen. This would happen. They will pull up behind me and they will start shooting me. A siren security guard? Now you see him. And now you still do. There you go. Third time's the charm. Lots of researchers. Researchers. I guess there must be something very interesting here. Oh dear lord. So many of them. I went into this mission thinking we're not gonna get any caps and then like seven of these guys to show up at my door. Uh, uh, sweating intensifies, sweating intensifies, rapid intensification, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, um, change of plans, change of plans, how am I gonna change these plans, plan, 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 why is there eight of them? <laughs> Fuck. Actually didn't meant to charge her in there. Um, lasso, lasso, lasso. The lasso is too heavy and too many time units to use the stern, which is the main issue here. I'm more worried about the fact that she's walking around with a man stopper, which is dirty piercing. Yeah. frontal armor. I'm not worried about the sniper. The sniper is close range. Um, there's a small chance that we can win that fight. Alright. That academy engineer is very important as well. Uh, that's why I'm making such a big deal out of this. Okay, I think I know how I want to play this, and it's going to be disgusting. It's going to be incredibly disgusting. I 
have done that without all the shots there, lady. Alright, Greta, uh, you were fantastic, like, don't get me wrong, you've, you've done me a great service. All great services must come to an end. That's exactly what I was afraid of. This is why we brought peasants, right? She's not gonna win the hand to hand combat, I'm very much aware of that. Why did they have to have like five people in this house? I did not account for that. Guys, they've gone insane. They've gone insane. Huh, ah, just you. Alright, cool. Ah. Why did I bring snipers? Why did I bring snipers? Why? Why did I think it was a good idea to bring snipers? Of all freaking engagements, why this one? I decided to bring fucking snipers. Sorry about this, but Milia. Ah, oh, thank God. I don't know what to talk about. I thought. Don't know what you're talking about. Ah. Uh... Please use a real gun, thank you very much. teacher <laughs> damn it this star damn it this star you fool I know what I was getting myself into
Wow. Wow. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Who just emptied? Who just... I'm... Ah, Kasumi, you sneaky little bugger. I completely forgot about you. Uh, well, there goes her medic. There it is there, come on. A bit worried about where the other gal went, but sure. That's better. Just want to make sure this was empty. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be it, is it? I can strike with the gun. That's roughly about it, though. Ah, that's where the engineer went, okay. No ammunition loaded? Ah, shit! Oh, this is becoming quite embarrassing. Did I mention this is becoming quite embarrassing? No, I'm good, I don't need to die. Not today at least. Okay. Having to manage a shitstorm and a half. It's a lasso for that, I really do. That's one way of dealing with it. I like how I'm just not healing the peasant. Uh... Perfect. Just what I was going for. <gasps> we got her! Alright, so how many more inside this house would you bet? Five, six, eight, ten? An army? Nah, it's empty. <laughs> I just can't believe there were like 12 of them inside this freaking house. That was quite uh, special. Alright, you, uh, you guys have done great. Really, top-notch job. Not have done it myself any better. Now let's not forget about Kasumi. Great. All right, I'm done hearing those birds. Oh, that's not the end. Not yet, at least. Ah, shit. 
Alright, well, where's the last gal? Come on. Ah, alright, hey there, researcher. Oh shit. I already thought they would have done the trick. I gotta be careful because my vehicle is way too aggressive at the moment. And somebody should probably start healing her up. Ah, right, okay. Um. Somewhere around here. And that's that. I. Um, this is not the mission I expected to go, but it went pretty decent. I'm happy. Because we got ourselves an academy engineer. What more could I ask for? I guess an academy medic, but I'm willing to settle for an engineer. That's not an issue. Not with me, at least. Excellent. Very good, very good, very good. No room in prison. Yar. Well, that sucks. That's all to a researcher to move on. The Scorch of Europe. Patient murderer soft target. Super size and bullet magnet. <laughs> and there's my freaking tactical vests. Well. It didn't arrive too late. Complex Romanica. This country is poor, underdeveloped, and concentrate, but perhaps due to that, they have developed unique technologies and techniques which they refuse to call voodoo. They call them holy arts instead. Their aristocracy also seems to generally care for peasants, at least sometimes, and we can pick up some pointers on diplomacy from them. That's cool. Man, spread way too thin. Alright, let's start with the basics, which is cooking by the book. A peasant nun outfit and the old sword and crusader SS armor. Armor based on Durafrag Plastil and superconductive wire. Quite heavy, it's mythical, uh, mystical iconography. Graf iconography. Whatever. Raises the savagery of its wearer. The design revives the mythical times of crusades when hardcore knights were cutting hordes of barbarians and thieves like wheat. Reduces night vision to 8 and day vision to 30. Wait. Ah, and this is with a shield alike. Equipped with a very handy shield. It has more armor and better resistance than the basic Crusader armor. The only major drawback is its way. Yeah, and the fact that you can't survive a single hit with a weapon. From a weapon. That's okay. We can repair one of our armors finally. It just takes a little bit of extra scrap. That's okay. I can live with that. Uh, some additional rounds. Hey, we recruited our brainer. Excellent. So all we have to do is wait for our library to be done. Ah, things are actually finishing up. That's nice. Humanist Instructor. These humanists are named instructors because they know how to read and write. They're well versed in their faction's ideology and charged with spreading it amongst disgruntled purebloods. They're not your usual skinny scholars, though. To the contrary, they're well trained and very tenacious types. Never relax when having one around. He may not die as easily as you'd expect of an unarmed... Pure blood, because what they are gonna do is they're gonna do a 360 RPG their own face and take out your girl in the process. Space problems require space solutions. Oh, huh. good point. Very good point. Alright, but that's okay. That's okay. So, cooking by the book, we'll stack uh, seven people on it. And a swimsuit goes one step further than a gym suit, offering better bonuses but also costing more equipment space, allows martial arts. All right, well... I 
It is better. It is definitely better. Hmm. A Chiller Sea outfit and bikini design. Now, I kind of want to go for the Chiller Sea outfit, but yeah. If one or two bio damage doesn't need a lot of kinetic force to be delivered, while well, electricity goes through the path of the least resistant. Does both of these damage types effectively have the Tark's armor value? How are Charlie's Angels getting on? They're surviving. They're not actually dying. It's quite new. And exciting. Oh, well, it's exciting. Depends uh, if you ask the Lochners or the Gals. <laughs> the Lochners have had such a bad time. Oh, uh, now we have Gina, Jetflame, and Muna, Brain Dog. Can't wait for us to deploy our next car. I probably should start looking into um let's see. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Armored car? No, vehicle? Do I have to make them? Maybe I have to make them. Hmm, that's unfortunate. I kinda was Okay, now I'm a bit confused. Yeah, right. Damn. We have to research them. So we can either take a 14mm weapon on our armored car or an advanced grenade launcher. What happened to the 25mm auto cannon? Oh, I probably am looking for the wrong thing. Quad RPGs, heavy machine gun, two times machine gun. Yeah, I'm tempted to go with two times machine gun. Or the heavy machine gun. Alright, so if we go for the two times machine gun, which I'm gonna assume is more fire. Lower damage, whereas the heavy machine gun will do more damage but less bullets per shot. I don't know what the 25mm auto cannon will do. And to be fair, I'm kinda curious. And then we have the 40mm uh, cannon as well. It explodes. Uh, I don't like the sound of that. Okay. So we don't need to research anything, which is fantastic. So we can just go over here and we can say... Uh, what was it? Armored? Yeah, armored car. We'll start with the two times machine gun. Assuming that it uses the same stats as a machine gun. Oh, uh, my bad. Let's go to Budipedia and check out the tools of the trade. No? Um, vessels? Hmm. Hmm. Where the hell would it be listed? Oh, found it. Okay, cool. So when it comes to the MG, let's see, the twin machine gun. Auto shot range, snapshot range. Takes bravery and firing. Quick burst. You use a machine gun ammo crate, so that's roughly about 35 uh, piercing damage. The bad it doesn't tell me what one clip size is. Wait, it might actually tell me what one clip size is. Ah, shots per action is 10. For an auto shot, for a snapshot it's 6 per action. And we can shoot up to 3 to 4 times. Depending on our energy. Doesn't tell me clip size, but sure. Um, I 
power is 36. Eclipse has 400. Okay. What about the heavy machine gun? The heavy machine gun itself? Shoot 6 or 3. Okay, that's what I expected. It's a bit more accurate. I can tell you it does a lot more damage. Yeah, 55. Hmm. No, that works. Uh, we can use the car to mow down low-level enemies, whereas my girls can focus on high-level enemies, which would make a lot of sense. Yeah, so we'll go for the, the machine gun, two times machine gun, and we'll see how that plays out. Uh, which requires me, of course, to buy the two machine guns, uh, the two, two machine guns, there you go. Uh, which is a mere 50k. And then we need a few machine gun ammo crates, let's get 10 of them. That should take care of that. Hey, we finished our chain mill, excellent. Man, today it's been so uneventful. And I can probably also at the same time uh, kick those peasants back. To weed them. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, do I remember who the peasants actually are? I don't think I remember who the peasants are. Oh, this is embarrassing. I thought I knew my gals way better than this. Though I do wonder, where the hell are... Those other two. I know these are uh, peasants. Uh, this is probably why. Please, do not take this with you. It's mine. You know, that's just, uh, Isdar. My bad. Anyways, let's transfer them out of here. Pa -pa 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 -pa. I wonder if you can sort by peasants. Tisha, Ivy Bones, Burfa, Greta, Oh! No free accommodations? Ah, I guess uh, Arturia and Greta can stay here. And there's my brainer. Excellent! One additional research coming right on up. Oh, wait, hold on. The library is not done yet. Seven more days. Huh? Small craft. Uh, let's see if we can shoot it down. And we probably gotta slap in two more pilots. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. This is a hunter killer. Um, good luck, gals. It's the police. Oh, shit. Any day now. Any day now. There we go, we got him. <laughs> yeah, take that, police. I think I'm gonna play it somewhat easy. Um, let's check the loadout on the Bonaventura. So, let's sort by uh, Unfreshness. We now have Sober Artemis, who's actually sober and ready to kick ass. And other than that, I think this is how we're going to be running the entire uh, crew. This is really helping out with freshness. It's insane to point it out, but it really is very great. Uh, this is actually a night mission, so ni night ops actually does make sense. And yet again, I am going to be bringing with me a armored car. I know this is actually really expensive because the bullets for uh, the recoilless rifle are pretty insane. I think they're like 25k a pop, aren't they? Well, something along those lines. 
But just taking a recoilless rifle with us, or just the entire car altogether, is just such a relief on our units because we don't have to deploy uh, large numbers of people. Because I'm paranoid that we're gonna get uh, screwed over. I do not want to do this during nighttime. Uh, those little hack drones that fly around, they're gonna get me. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure they can just chop up my craft. And that will be literally the worst outcome possible. Why did I never make a coro a coron a caronate? Did I never bother making them? I have no idea. I think I was better waiting for better um heavy crafts, but now I'm not sure about it anymore. Um Build sailors. Human soldier. I think I still got to research that guy. By the way, um, how many tokens do we have? Ooh, 1100. 2000 for the mutant alliance, which is also pretty good. Uh, let's go and manufacture ourselves a prize. The Omega Rifle. That is what I want. Uh, the Omega Rifle is one of the prerequisitions for the Silver Batch. Together with the Boomasaurus, which I do think we managed to get our hands on, right? I think we got our hands on the Boomasaurus. And once we have enough tokens, we'll get the It's Ogre Shotgun. It will be great. Oh yeah, here we go, the Boomasaurus. God, that thing is terrifying. The Raider Mistress. Some Raider bands are ruled by these cunning women. Instead of keeping their command by force, they have weave complex webs of intrigues and favors. They are always followed by a small parade of dedicated male bo bodyguards, ready to do their mistress bidding whenever she lifts up her skirt with the promise of a later gratification. This all might seem ridiculous, but these bandless Herods are also quite smart and utterly ruthless. I guess they have to be. They're also worth a solid ransom, but it might be better to rob them for their valuables. Oh god. Oh my god, the treasure chest. This box contains a heap of gold and a single gem of each type. So where are they now? Signs demand sacrifices, didn't you know? Value 500k. Ooh, now that. That is a loot bag. Yeah, there's one hell of a loot bag. Fantastic. Okay, um... So yeah, I want to do that mission during daytime. That's kind of kind of what I settled on. I think daytime is a good... Uh... Yeah, it's a very great plan. Hey, wait, if Hilarium Charge are done, that means that we are finally um, up to spec when it comes to the Hilarium Charms and the likes. Let's quickly check this out. Uh, doop, 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 doop. Gas Masks were at 18 finally. Hilarium Charms were finally at 18, that's fantastic. Don't need smokes. More beers. Some girls are fine, and they're fun to go. Bandages, battle flags. Two additional frag grenades would be nice. And can you believe that we still have so many ninja bases we gotta eliminate? Like, I need to do it more efficient. If I do it efficient and ruthless enough, then we can just wipe through them like two or three a month. That would be perfect. Uh, for now, the Bonaventura will be sent out. We're gonna be kicking some ass. Let's uh, sort one more time by freshness. I think we might also take Chesty Patricia with us. Nah, this should be an easy mission. These guys got it handled. Don't worry about it. Uh, because one of them is going to be driving around in a uh, recoilless rifle car.
Alright. Oh god, what's up with the background? Makes me feel like I'm gonna be underwater. I will not speak of this. This is awful. Why does this keep happening? Why does this keep happening? Ah! How embarrassing. Acid rain? Really? Actually, it's really good to know. See, I wish I knew these type of things so I can prepare for it. Uh, better prepare for it. That would be nice. At least we have camp coats. Yeah, it might actually be the radiation, the red pools. That's okay. Yeah, it's red pools. I heard a clicking. Clickety click. Right, anyways, let's make this quick. Uh, there's no reason for me to prolong this mission any longer than it needs to be. We go in, we go out, and we uh, don't die. Right, and just like that, there you have it. Um, one Megapole Enforcer with this uh, fancy gun. Or flying drones. It's the flying drones I was mostly afraid of. That's kind of why I was hoping to do this during daytime. That's not good. That's better. Uh, whatever that gun is, I am not gonna... I definitely don't want to thank that to the face. Right, he's bleeding, that's a good start. afraid of that. I'm afraid of a lot of things right now. Um, yeah, all those things flying around is what's going to be the real issue here. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. Uh, what will happen? Alright, so it dies to roughly about two hits. A little bit of luck. That's that's really good to know. That's really good to know. Alright, we'll play it slow and safe. Five enemies to kill. Um, God, I hope I don't lose my armored car. I might lose my armored car, which scares the living crap out of me. So far, so good. Okay, that is not good. That is actually pretty bad.
Not enough time units, ah shit. Ah, it was shit. Oh well, I tried. Oh, triple shit, come on! Hey, oh, little bastard. Alright. Sixteen to shoot, we can easily step back inside. Alright, well I should have gone for accurate shots, I kinda regret it. Shotguns are no snipers. Uh, I can treat them like snipers though. Look at that. Uh, not that it matters anyways, but whatever. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. I, uh, I don't like the thing anymore. I see Mr. Wolfie, but where did Mr. Piggo go? Uh, I don't see Mr. Piggo. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, what can I see? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep, 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 yep. That's what I expected. Shit. Um... I'm worried. I'm actually legitimately worried about that. And he's nowhere near me, so he might actually be hiding right behind the craft. Ooh, that's right, you stay down. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four. Can I actually make it down if I do a snapshot 17, 22? Yep. What's the best chance to hit? No, doesn't matter. Alright. With those hack and slash runs down, I feel a lot safer already. Gotta deal with the mega pool wolves at the moment. Hope for the best. Maybe if I do enough damage, they'll panic and they'll uh, run away. Maybe. There's nothing to melee! Get out of here! Damn it. That was pretty dumb of me. Did not mean to melee there, but I did by accident. I always think the top one is aimed shot, that's why I always click it so rapidly. I hope that with enough cam damage he's just gonna panic. Uh, even though um, we're still stripping away his armor, so it's a win-win. It really in the end is a win-win. Um... I think I nearly killed Bastila there. Eh, almost. Yeah, I might have underdeployed for this mission. Slightly. Alright, well there was Mr. Piggo. Mr. Piggo actually did quite a significant chunk of damage to us. That is 60 in the front armor, I'm just saying. That was, uh, that was 80 damage.
And none of that was a hit. Uh, actually, it was. Right off his armor. But yeah, this 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 long range warfare is not doing it for me. I'm not using long range weapon warfare items, thingy jigs either. So, fair's fair, but boy. Should probably start thinking about how I want to push more aggressively without overexposing myself. Hmm. Something ain't right about this. Yeah, I like how the wolves just kind of went up there. Sucker. Alright, and then there were three. Maybe four. Yeah, this is too far for the custom SMG. The armored car has really changed things, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, but not for the better, for the worst. It is giving me one hell of an edge in combat, but I'm becoming more aggressive. And that means that I am very likely to kill somebody. Oh no, they're charging me. Gasp. Maybe, you know, maybe that's a good thing. Instead of doing these two hour missions, uh, we're doing one and a half hour missions. Because, you know, we're still not really hitting anything at all that pops up on the radar, but yeah. God damn it. Alright guys, come on. Seen enough. They disagree. They want to see more. Okay. See, that's the problem with these people. Just can't tell them no. No, there you go. No. <laughs> yeah, you had just not the guy I was aiming at. Story of my life, right? I know there is still one enforcer around. That's kind of like the thing I need to be very careful about. I know he's lingering around here. There he is. That's him, officer. Shit. Questing back up. Backup has arrived. Sweet. <laughs> Yeah, that's... Okay, so this really terrifies me. Not because, you know, they're the police, but they have plasma weapons. And they got this quite recently as well. I'm pretty sure the first crash we did, they had laser guns. A riot grenade? The hell is a hot... Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I like, I like riot grenades, they're great. It's quarters of Europe. <laughs> Patience. Yes, Black Widow and Shell Shocked. 
Yeah, today we haven't done anything useful at all. Let's see if I can make some more um, uh, Linux SMGs. I like the guns. I definitely do like the guns quite a bit. Yeah, we got another slave soldier. Ninja Scroll contains various minor secrets of the Sky Ninja. Such as the Skyforge Laborer Mill. Unsurprisingly, Skyforge needs. Wait a minute, we already know about this guy. No, that was the female. I've been tricked. They can tell. Asprise, the Boomasaurus. So I heard you learned about the benefits brought to us by Beasts of Burden. I have some of these for sale. Naturally, the Demon God smile on it. So the Free Software Foundation expanded to design automatic weaponry in this timeline as well. Always. It won't be the cursed timeline without it. The Boosasaurus. If the trench can do anything, we can do it better. Instead of that useless laundry <laughs> chair, we decided to outfit it with a truckload of booze, main weapon jaws. Extra weapon, grok. That's cool. You can now purchase the Boozasaurus and Lizard Heights Bandit Camp. Hey, yeah, that's been a while. We sniffed out a large Bandit Camp here. If we were to reappropriate their assets, we're in for a big shootout. Do it during nighttime, bring some night ops. Walk in the park. <laughs> oh, I seem to be pushing these people quite aggressively. Maybe I just should let the bandit camp pass, but... Right. Redman Rodeo needs to be done during daytime. Uh, I think we're gonna lose out on that opportunity, but the bandit camp, I guess? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, that shouldn't be an issue. Still, some people are wounded for a few more days. That's okay. Uh, by the way, where the hell is Point Tornado 19 days? And where is Blonde Hula Hoop? 20. I think Pointy Tornado... No, it was Blonde Hula Hoop and it was... Damned Minx 20 and 20 days. Both of them got hit pretty hard during the base assault, but... They're recovering quite nicely. Yeah. I'm just looking at the unfreshness, so this will take one day to fix, but for example, Nikki and Mutant Score both take two days. I don't wanna I don't wanna push these people too hard, so we'll we'll roll with these guys. Uh, we'll bring mostly night ops. No vehicle this time around. <laughs> no vehicle. Um, how about we just take night ops with, uh, with us and we just make it a kill mission. Well, we'll try to drive it by panic and we'll pick off whoever uh, remains alive at the end. Do all doggos, right? Oh shit, um, right, Scarab. Let's 
take some handles with us. Let's go. Uh, at least a lot of stuff is happening right now, which is pretty cool. Wait, did I send out Scarab 3? I was supposed to send out Scarab 2. No, at least a lot of thi Ooh, civilian craft. Now there's stuff we can intercept, stuff we can kill. Um, we have actual air game going. I mean, listen to that sweet sound. It's awful. But, it's what makes money. Alright. And this time around, I brought one whole handle, son of a gun, so I did send out the wrong craft. Unless... Ah, no, 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 no. We, we did it the right way around. A wood on these gals is not great, and that's alright. Damn, Pierce Terrace. I did not realize how weak you were. Wow, did I call you weak? Uh, your fellow, fellow sick... No wonder they're both called sick, they're super weak. Your fellow gals seem to be doing a lot worse. Zion Let's see, what can I do with you? I'd love to have her take a shotgun with her. We'll see how it goes. This really is the lightest gun that I have. He also needs to take a med kit, so yeah. Do, do, do. Alright, let's see how this goes. Ah, so the back of her craft is lit up because of the teleportation thing. Gotcha. Where did the Craft crash. Ooh, there it is. Oh, look at their time units. It's almost non existent. I think we're gonna do one big group of four, and that's how we're gonna move forward. We will not do actual sweeps, instead, what we'll do is. Um... Okay, well that's a good start. We'll do some round robin defenses. Round robin defenses? Uh, round robin sweep, there you go. We'll also try to clear out the vehicle in the meantime. I think we're gonna be dealing with two of them. He oh dear lord. Um, he has a shotgun. Here's kind of the thing, this shotgun uh, does 21 damage. Our armor is sturdy, but if he high rolls he can easily penetrate the armor and do quite a bit of damage. Ah, uh, we'll play it safe. As safe as we can anyways. Okay, he is not an issue though. His uh, baby gun is not gonna really damage us whatsoever. Uh, depending, can it actually do up to 200 damage or is it limited to 150? Well, I guess it's 200 since it doesn't uh, explicitly list it. Does it really matter? No, no it doesn't. Cool. Yeah, he bled out. And we just shot the other guy, but the other guy was bleeding as well, so hostage is taken too. Big win. Way to go, Pierce series. Look at that. She dominated and then sick by a... Uh, huh? Pretty good for a stick pie. <laughs> Alright. We'll sell what we can and the rest we ship to uh, our main base. Stuff. 
Uh, Crusader armor has been repaired, so Linux SMGs are being made, and we also finished enslaving some ninja gals. Is there any more slavery I can do, or is this it? I think we have some more slavery, right? One more ninja kill. Okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, they haven't arrived yet, that's why. Right. So have good times keep on rolling. I uh, I totally didn't forget about the fact that it's freezing cold. I mean look at this. Ice cold resistance, we'll give everybody a hat. And uh good to go. Starting with Muna, Muna over here is going to be getting all the cold resist she can get. But no real weapon for her just yet. Actually, maybe I should have them use assault rifles instead. I know assault rifles can be quite accurate. How about we give them real assault rifles? Real assault rifles. How about we give them real guns such as assault rifles? There you go, that's better. Just it doesn't have the best uh, ammunition for it. Kinda, kinda running low on it. That's okay. Then we have Fiery Hunter. Um, Linux Mandrake SMG, obviously the way to go. Okay. Let's give her a nice cool outfit and a med kit. Perfect. Give her loot milia. It's a shame because I'm not really utilizing their melee, and that's alright. That is fine. Fallen bitch. I appreciate your enthusiasm here, fallen bitch, but uh, oh, sure. I probably should be using skulls, shouldn't I? Ah, it's fine. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, I probably could make do with some more uh, Linux SMG clips. Sober Artemis is fine. Almost fine, at least. I really should set up some base templates. Just, you know, cold armor, warm armor. Yes, I just did that by accident. It's fine, I'm rolling with the punches. You know, just having basic uh, stuff like, hey, this is what we have for cold, this is what we have for hot, would just limit my um, load of time significantly. I mean, custom loadouts is nice and all, but I don't really use it now, do I? Don't use it at all. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go. Alright guys, time for some reaction fire. Oh god, okay, I hope I'm not making a mistake here. So now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's kill some ass. Wait, it's supposed to kick, kick some ass. Yeah, let's kick some ass. Until they of course start to throw grenades at me, in which case I am boned. Alright, let's see how this goes. No! 
poor guy. Just couldn't escape it. Alright, well, um, this is what the next 10 minutes is gonna be about. So, I hope you guys enjoy it. Because this is all we're gonna be doing. Just sitting here and casually tapping. Ah, occasionally popping a reload. I'm gonna manage the troop mix on my left side. I'm a bit too worried they might actually be able to sneak all the way through. Also, if I see a doggo, I will specifically go after a doggo, brigands. I gotta check their night vision, but yeah. Yep, okay. Brigands have a night vision of 9, so I can ignore Brigands for the time being. Uh, Kasumi is fine. You're fine, you're fine. Ah, it's the inexperienced Lochners that are on the left side. Shit. Ah, on the right side. They should be on the left side. I don't... I actually know anything about troublemakers, that's slightly unsettling. Because I assumed I did. Alright, and I also gotta eliminate her before she becomes a problem. Okay, so all I can hope for is that they don't come towards me, and uh, otherwise we shall be good to go. Let's uh, fire and forget. And let's always make sure that everybody has enough ammo. Ammo might actually become an issue. Oh yeah, definitely like that. It kind of hurts knowing that we're shooting like our reaction shots uh, on the first two to three guys. That kind of sucks, but you know, it is what it is. Also, for next time when one of these things pop up and we are fully in control of the map, we should pull out bows and just have a crazy day with bows. So we can train some reactions. Trouble makes a problem. I really should be breaking up my people. Just a tiny bit. Doggo, doggo, doggo. But the main... Ooh. So the main issue is... Um, the brigand himself... Action moves at the very end of the turn, so he can get close to me without me being able to retaliate against him. And that is problematic, to say the least. Whoa! Double kill, that's insane. Who can see that doggo? Bingo, Sober Artemis, alright. Damn it. Anybody else? Alright, KP Skeleton, let's do this. Um, Fallen Pitch? Ah, bollocks, alright, well, whatever. I tried. He actually shot back at me. 
We have a problem. We have a very big problem. If he shot back at me, that means I've actually been spotted. Which means we're now liable to get grenaded. Uh, just shot at in general. Oh, I gotta keep up an open mind for this. I like how half the camp is being burned away. And <laughs> that dog was having a field day. Yeah, that was no panic. He shot at me. Alright. So, Dogo we can see. Alright, let's start this. Also, I haven't seen the brigand, which scares me. Quite tremendously. Not being able to see the brigand actually is a... Uh, a small problem. Alright, let the nightmare continue. I think we're fine at the moment. Let's check my flank. Flank is ok. Flank is ok. Let's continue. There we go, panic. That's right, Homer. <laughs> so most likely there's just gonna be a doggo uh, roaming about. Bring it on, baby. And maybe some brigands. Nope, not that brigand at least. That doggo, yes. Alright, so the games continue. And this is a really good training mission, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, too bad some people are running out of ammo. Why did I never take up... Um... So Artemis, I'm gonna give you a whole completely different uh, type of duty to do here. Uh, I like your reactions, I like your firing, your throne can definitely be improved. Let's uh, give you a combat bow. And let's see what you can do. So people are gonna run out of ammo, I'll give them some combat bows and we can go on the aggression with them. Yeah, it's really just a doggo that's still alive. I can guarantee you that black and white. Night and day. Bandit camp and campfire. Fires. I just realized I never checked my flanks. My flanks are AOK. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it's nice rice. Alright, uh, do we keep this charade up or do we move forward? Uh, I think we should be moving forward. And again, we're having a good time at the moment, don't we? Really, all I'm looking for is just one doggo. But boy, this reaction training is fantastic. Alright. Well, um, I think that's that, right? No! Yep, Mickey thinks so. Ooh. No! Let's go find the doggo. Hey, we found a doggo. Alright. As long as we avoid the light, we should be fine. As long as we avoid the light, we should be fine. Yeah. It's gonna be great. I am gonna can't wait to see what type of... Um, ...accommodations we're gonna get. And stat increases. Ah, 
I like the sound of that. Yeah, there's probably a doggo here in the back. Man, this is such a good mission. He has a night vision of 9, he's too close by. Let's kill him. Nothing personal, kiddo. Just the way life works. Yeah, so the last doggo with 95% certainty is actually in the in the other camp. It's not here. Not in the main camp either. Ooh, this might be too light for me. Yep, just too light. Come on, where you at, buddy? Where you at? Not that difficult. Guess without much further ado, let's wrap this mission up then. Like, the part that really bothers me is I know the doggo is out there. I just don't seem to be able to find him. Bingo, found him. Ah, shit, I can't shoot him? Really? Alright, alright, alright. <gasps> no, doggo survived that? Oh, damn. That's the culprit. Where do you think you're going, doggo? Not on my watch. Okay, congratulations, doggo. You managed to get away on my watch. Well done, I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm really impressed. Oh, guys. And thus, we killed all the prisoners, or all our potential prisoners, because of one doggo who refused to die. This is really insane how we're actually not hitting him. Oh, I see, I get it now. It's, it's, a, it's a cone problem. Just a very cursed cone. And very cursed lucky shit on the dog. Damn it. I'm not angry. I'm not angry at all. Just very pissed off. Come on, Doggo, die! Ah, the boy. One, one hostage taken. Ah, there you have it. Too bad Doggos can't panic. I really wish they could, but those are some very nice reaction increases. Look at that. Five, six, four, three, 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 four. That's what we did it for, right? Perfect training mission. Strangely enough, it's a bandit camp. But yeah. A uh, big win. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna be able to get an assault rifle clip, right? Nope, just assault pistols. Alright. Human of Love, Angel of Death, Public Enemy, Ice Cold Killer, Black Widow, Murderer, Nightingale, Bane of Bandits, Trigger Happy, Grunt, Shell Shocked, Hitman, Super Size. Not too bad, not too bad. Armored car has been completed? Oh, hell yes. Alright, well, one more mission to go. Oh boy, um, I'm actually pushing my girls quite aggressively, aren't I? I kind of feel like I need to give them a break. How about we do something completely insane? I love completely insane. Right, y'all getting a break. Congratulations. Nikki. Okay. 
Alright, that's a perfect plan. Let's do it. Alright, these five are gonna go to the village and beat them up. Let's see how this plays out. Because we will be using a car. Not just any car. We'll be using our MG car. Right. <sighs> Off we go. That was too close to the radar range. Kind of worried me. Chemicals. Hey, this is our stuff. Excellent. Alright, time for Redman Rodeo. We're gonna be using the twin machine gun vehicle. That's gonna be fun. I did not bring any bullets for it. I just realized I'm a big, big idiot. This, this, this is nice. This is nice. Oops. <laughs> ah, bollocks. What am I gonna do, guys? What am I gonna do? Uh, maybe, uh, maybe we'll just step out for today. Now, uh, maybe we'll just step out. You know, if I'm making these type of mistakes, it's uh, it's a clear shine. It's a clear damn sign. I really don't know how I feel about this. Oh boy. Oh boy. I I changed my mind, I changed my mind. I don't want to do this anymore. I want to go home. I want to go home. I'm too tired for this. I'm actually too tired for this. Oh shit. Um, okay. Perfect. Great. I actually do not want to do this. Holy crap. Um... And just a little bit of regret, don't worry about it. Of course we will kill our most valuable target first, that should not be an issue. How am I going to deal with this? I think they can still shoot up. It is so stupid that I forgot to bring ammo. It's the really embarrassing part, really. They also have doggos. And I should have brought doggos myself. That would have been the smart thing to do. Ah, uh, not enough time units. I hate it when the game does that. I think I think it was a mistake. I think if I had ensured I had all the right stuff on my craft, we would have been fine. But because I didn't, um, this mission is turning into a uh, to a disaster and a half. Just 
just want to go home. Just want to go home. <laughs> uh. Well, gotta make the best of it. Right? What just shot me? You just shot me, didn't you? Bastard. Right, he's bleeding out. Whoa! Who just shot me with heavy artillery? That guy did. He completely missed, thankfully, luckily for me. Bleeding at least. So, what did we learn today? Never forget your bullets. It might be the death of you and your team. I'm worried for when those doggos decide to turn on me. When those doggos decide to turn on me, that's when I'm boned. That's when I'm burnt the most. Right. You know what the scariest part of all of this is? I know that that's gonna backfire one of these days. Alright. Nikki. Not like this, Nikki. Ah, come on. Come on. <laughs> this is so dumb. I know who they're targeting, and it's not the craft itself, and that's the part that scares me the most. Like, they're actually targeting the people upstairs. Which is what I'm trying to explicitly avoid. Come on, you bloody wanker. You can do this. There we go. Ah, shit, there wasn't enough to kill him. Oh my god, come I feel like I actually need to run around with sniper rifles right now. The only way I'm gonna be able to fix this. Also, there is a doggo on the loose, I gotta be careful. He was really close uh, near this area, I think he was up here. Which means he could have gone all the way down here and is walking around and might just chew my face off. And I wish there, I wish there was something more I could do with my car. I can't drive, I can't kill. We're slowly getting through this, that's one benefit. One benefit of all of this. <laughs> yeah, this serves as the perfect tank right now. That armor is at least saving my ass, but... 
Not gonna have all the time of her life. Yeah, I have no idea where Doggo went. I know where that Doggo is. By the way, if I shoot him, can I actually make it back? I could make it back, but barely. Doesn't matter anyways. Not like we uh, can get out of Dodge in time anyways. Uh oh. This might be the end of dank memes. Yes. Okay, you're fine as well. Let's have you uh, take a peek up here. Eh, well, that was pointless. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. I mean, now that most of the enemies have been eliminated, I'm in a way safer spot. Even the doggos are falling to me, which is quite nice. Only I can kill this doggo, that'd be perfect. But I feel like there's still a rat uh, lingering about. Yep, there's still a Redman lingering about. Let's keep an eye out. Oh no, just Doggo. Okay. Alright guys, we've done it. Despite my massive screw-up, uh, we're still alive. It's a, it's a bit of a shame because... Ooh, nice set increases. It's a bit of a shame because that's a drain on our freshness, and a drain on our freshness means they're just out for the count for more days before uh, they're fully operational again. Ah, such is life. Alright, Ice Cold Killer, Black Widow, Kel of Steel. Oh, wow, you get Kel of Steel despite the fact that you don't take damage? That's amazing. Run Shell Shock, Hitman, and Bullet Magnet. Wow, that's a really easy way to get that. Alright. Last but not least, um, I think we need ammo crates aboard our vessel. Vessel Bonaventura and crate. Let's search for crate. Hmm. Your fighting crew, and we were looking for the armored car, right? Yes. Oh, but not here. How did I do that again last time? Okay, I, I just completely forgot. Um, I think we went to research. I think we went to research and researched armored car. Or searched up the armored car and then pulled up the 2MG. No, no, that's not how we did it. Manufacturing? <gasps> no! No, 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 no! Oh, ah, shh! That's bad. I was actually keeping track of certain areas by having them unmarked, more specifically the. Uh, uh, the prizes. Yet now I have to check all of them each time. Why is this marked as... What the hell just happened? Hmm... I feel like I've just gone crazy. I guess we got the prerequisition because we have uh, Alliance favors. Oh man... I'm a bit disappointed I did that by accident. There's no way to undo it, is there? No way to undo it. Ah, pisses me off. Just a tiny bit. Okay. Um, 
Well, it is what it is. Um, obviously, the most logical thing to do is to load up Geoscape again. Come on. Ah, there we go. I win. That's right. No, but in all seriousness, um, how did I do that? Oh, not like that. I am so confused. Um. Um, I don't know, and I'm hating it. Hold on, so our vessel is back, right? Let's uh, go to our crew. Let's uh, sorry, or or equipment. Hit I for loadout. Weapons already loaded. Okay, so we do have the ammo for it, which is the MG ammo crate. Okay, but I think this is a perfect time for me to point out. I think it's time for me to call the day and get some sleep because my brain just fizzled out and i think enough is enough so uh that's it thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed it and next time around we'll probably be able to take out another outpost because our hands are looking mighty fine even if i say so myself okay uh they've seen better days but it's pretty decent but that will be for next time so hope to see you guys then for now thanks for watching have a good evening and take care i hope to see you next time i'm gonna get some sleep Yes, I am abandoning the ship, don't judge me. Gee.